Welcome. Welcome. The show you're about to listen to is part of the Hopped Up Network's growing family of craft beer podcasts in the U.S. and Canada. Find this show and others like it at hoppedupnetwork.com, the spot for informative and entertaining craft beer podcasts. First beer. You want some of this milk? I'd rather have a beer. All right, all right, now you're overstimulated. Let's get some beer in you, and then it's right to bed. Woohoo! Beer, 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 beer. What's up, man? Oh, hey, I'm Kenny, and I was pouring vodka into a water bottle in the bathroom, and my RA walked in. Ooh, busted! <laughs> uh, hi there. Hey, I'm, I'm Courtney. Uh, classic college story, you know. I, I drank 40 beers and got naked and grabbed a chainsaw, went behind North Quad, and cut down, like, 35 pine trees. Last night, me and Blaine got to talking, and we came to the realization, dude, that you have a drinking problem. Okay, good one. Now can I have a beer? Have you been drinking? No. Oh. Are you drunk? If you really want some film at 11, why don't you follow me down to the brewery? I tie a bowling ball to my ankle, dive in the vat of beer. I leave this world the same way I entered my marriage, dead drunk! What do you guys give me if I kill that bird? Marvin, that's a bald eagle. Get away, baldy! Yeah! <laughs> wow, that's a little loud. I apologize. Here's the word of Mike P. GovsRadio.com. That's right. We are live here at Governor's Comedy Club in Levittown, Long Island. Uh, we are here for our 49th show, the final show of season two. No, nope, you know, nope, you're, never, you're never on right away. God I, damn it! I know, I apologize for that. Anyway, hi. Hi. Hi, Pete. Uh, so, yeah, we're here for our season finale uh, of our season two. Possible series finale. Possible. No, no, no. <laughs> Only if Grez brings in strippers. And then uh, we got to re- Well, then we'll re-sign keep it going. <laughs> for season three. Right, exactly. I, uh, uh, let me get some uh, quick sponsors out of the way. And then we'll uh, keep it moving with our guest today, Kevin, from uh, Flying Belgian uh, Brewing. So, uh this is where Mike B. Give us a call, 516 465 3990, 516 513 0515. Telephone lines will be open all night tonight. We expect a bunch of calls from people, uh, friends of the show, saying hello for the final time in season two. Uh, and some guest breweries probably calling in at one point. I reached out to a few, so we'll see who uh, makes the uh, phone call in this inclement weather. And if you are sitting home, of course, and you're hearing us somehow, some way, here's how you can find us, by the way. Go on to Facebook, type in Gubs Radio, and we are streaming live on Facebook. Go on to YouTube, type in Gubs Radio, and we are streaming live on YouTube. Uh, or you can go to our home station, govsradio.com, click the Watch Now button, and check us out. I uh, want to give a uh, quick thank you to the Hopped Up Network, who uh, 
has really done a lot for us in these last few years. Well, we'll start with that as a thank you for this series finale. Um, not series, season finale. You're going to make you me never say know. series. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, Still early. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, that's true. And we only cracked one of the, <laughs> the many beers that are here so far, so it could all go sideways real quick. All right, so our sponsors tonight, and probably for the last time of the, uh, the season, uh, we'll start with MyBomberJackets.com. Go to MyBomberJackets.com, type in the promo code WORT, receive money off your order, and uh, get some sort of uh, percentage off your shipping as well. Go to MyBomberJackets.com and get your bomber jacket today. We're sponsored by Shirts on Tap. Go to ShirtsOnTap.com for all your T-shirt needs. You can get a uh, subscription-based uh, membership where you get a new T-shirt from breweries all around the country. It's uh, $5.99 with the promo code WORT, W-O-R-T, and uh, $13.99 after that, which is a reduced price from $20 a month. And it's really cool. They give you a bunch of swag and a couple T-shirts and to get in your stickers. size. Stickers. Yeah, fun stuff. That Coupon if you, for merch at the brewery. If you actually end up going should to you, should you travel Sheboygan. <laughs> you want to go to Sheboygan, <laughs> to the brewery in Sheboygan, you can have a coupon, which expires next month. So you better. Again. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Good thing you covered it up tonight. I did. Jesus. Um, we're sponsored by Brewers Hardware. Go to brewershardware.com and uh, go ahead and type into that promo code WORT and receive money off your order. That's for our small home brewers all the way up to our large capacity needs. Uh, BrewersHardware.com. We're also sponsored by TapHandles.com. We've been handing a bunch of those out there and posting up on our Instagram and our social media. Check them out at TapHandles.com. And, uh, you know, all the way from your custom-made individual tap handle for your uh, little kegerator home all the way up to a very large capacity uh, need. So go to uh, TapHandles.com. And, of course, Brewers. Uh, I said Brewers Hardware. Sorry. Hartwell, Hartwell Woodshop. Wood uh-huh. And uh, don't forget about Tavor. Tavor, Tavor for beer mail at your door. Tavor legal beer mail. Legal beer mail. I guess it is legal at this point, right? I mean, I would well, think that Tavor they... is legal. Everybody else shipping beer mail to their right, friends. Right, right. Not so much. Well, that's fine. I, what am I? You know, who am I going to send it to? A thirteen-year-old on purpose? Come on, let's let's I mean, be real. Maybe here. you never know. I would, strange yeah. times. I, I so would. It is so strange out there. <laughs> <laughs> strange things are happening. Uh, so go to Tavor. Type in the promo code Ward and receive a uh, percentage off your first order from Tavor beer mail at your door. Um, anything else that I missed there? Should I mention Copeg's Fine Fair? Yeah. No, because they were sponsoring the first season, but I, I've kind of resurrected the relationship with uh, Franklin over at uh, Copeg's Fine Fair over the last few uh, months, talking to him a lot and, and get him you know, more interested in being part of the show again um, after our falling out. So everything uh, seems to be on the up and up. And we're looking for brand new sponsorships. We're looking at uh, new stuff for new products that help the uh, craft beer drinker out with their daily drinking habits. So uh, we'll be <laughs> we'll be searching and scouring the inner tubes, finding out the right thing to uh, bring to our, our audience and help them receive some money off and stuff like that. But fine line between drinking habit and drinking problem. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> well, the habit is a problem, but only if you make it a problem. If you make it a habit, it's fun. It's like it's only a problem if you admit it. It's like knitting. Like, do you like knitting? Yeah, it's no. kind of like a uh, no biting no. Your, you, biting your nails. Is do that you more like of a knitting? Ha- no, I hate knitting. I'm just saying. Well, that's more like a hobby. So drinking hobby, drinking hobbyists. Sure, that's what we should have called our podcast, the drinking hobbyist. No, you don't like it. You like no. the, you like the word, right? Yeah, it's so out there that people like. Well, I like the Dude, fact. Should we that change the name for season three? No, no, we're not changing the name for season three. Absolutely not. Restart uh, as a new show. This could be the series finale. Yeah, well, it could be resurrected as a brand new show with the same people, same faces, and we could interview everyone all over again with the new uh, title. Uh, so we're here live at Governor's Comedy Club, and today in the studio we brought with us Kevin from Flying Belgian Brewing Company. What's going on, buddy? Ah, uh, not much, man. Thank you so much for letting me come here. Nah, thank you for coming down yes, on this special snowy the, uh, evening. shitty night. Yeah, yeah shitty really night. Shitty. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know. I was I was about ninety percent <laughs> sure you were going to cancel, and we would have been probably fine with it. But I, all the, you know, you were sending us messages back yeah. and forth saying, "Oh, just check and make sure you get Pete's number." I'm like, "Cool, this guy's he's going to come." <laughs> We've had cancellations before for less. Yeah, trust me. Yeah. People oh, have no, canceled for less. Deal. No, but thanks. Yeah. I really appreciate it. And uh, we actually had friends that we invited in that canceled on us. And um, they'll they'll probably be calling in a little later. You know, some of them are a little far away to make the whole trip in here, especially with the snow. And don't uh, make excuses for them. Well, they can make their own excuses when they get on the phone, and I start bashing them. <laughs> Why didn't you get your ass down here? It's really not that bad out, and it really isn't. It really wasn't that bad, but it might no, get it's worse later. Fine. It's raining. Well, it, it's going to get worse later, especially towards the city. So that's probably why Nick didn't end up. Anyway, uh, we should expect some visitors such as uh, Anthony Grazia today. And um, phone calls, like I said, from breweries uh, across the country. Maybe even the Wurt Wrangler if he gets off stage. We'll see what happens. And then, of course, uh, our buddies Nick and Tom, who I wanted to thank for a season of, uh, 
of giving as they uh, gave a lot of their time and effort to help the show. When Pete was down, yes. his wife was sick, um, and he couldn't make some of our shows, these guys stepped in, and, and uh, a bunch of them are going to want to step in again in February when Pete has his third child. So yeah. uh, we have a couple of shows actually already booked right around the birth of the yeah. child. You know what? Maybe we'll get a live. Or I could just use it as an excuse to get out of the house. Well, you're going to have a newborn, like a one-day-old. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so his point exactly. Third, out of the third house. child, you put them in a cradle and hang them on the ceiling. It's fine. That's it. Just the just, dog can babysit. Right, the dog can babysit. <laughs> it's a good babysitter. It'll be fine. Uh, I guess Kev, uh, we want to start with you, obviously, because there's going to be a lot to get to a little later. I kind of pushed everyone out till uh, later in the show today. So I, I want to start by uh, talking a little about wh- where this all came from because I've we've seen the logo around Long Island mm-hmm. for a while for now, years. Yeah. I mean, yeah. years. Yeah. You've, years. You've yeah. had a, a pretty good branded product out there. I used to work at the meatball place, and we had the blonde yeah. on tap for yeah. you know almost all the time. It was yeah. one of the the, the set non rotating tap handles. So I know you've been uh, doing this since the birth of the craft beer craze here on Long Island. I hate to say it like that because it demeans the whole industry, but it's mm-hmm. it really is. It's like exploding. You're a jerk. No, every town is... Uh, can I just say something really quick? Because I know I talk a lot, and I'll get it out now because then I want, really want to start drinking. So I, I commented on Small Craft's um, Instagram page. You know, they're during Thanksgiving, they were thanking everybody for all the help that they've uh, gotten and all the people that have come down. And, you know, my comment was... We we have an unbelievable experience here on Long Island. The amount of breweries on just the South Shore. I didn't even mention any North Shore breweries. And I went through a list where I had to cut people out of the list in the first comment because I tagged too many people. Did a second comment, too many people. Added a third comment and finally covered everybody, including, by the way, the kombucha, which is right by you. Right. Yep. Coastal uh, kombucha. Ah. And... Um, uh, and the Meadworks Works and Joe, <laughs> I saw Joe like DM me like, "What the fuck?" I'm like, "Joe, I didn't forget you. I wanted to include the breweries first, and then I would put Joe you counts. into." He does. It's not <laughs> quite beer, but Joe, we love. Jo- I dude, I love Joe. And then he and I were going back and forth. I saw he wants to have an all in her show. I think we so should do it. I that'd be a fucking fantastic idea. A fantastic idea. I, I've been wanting to do that for what? Does he live in Lindenhurst? I don't know. He's close though. He's yeah, got to we'll figure it out. We um, do the all in show. And speaking, well, we could have an old Farmingdale show too, and bring uh, um, past uh, yeah. Farmingdale. Uh, well, that would be like eight residents. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we should just reach out to the. Uh, what was the guy's name from Tweaking Frog? Uh, I don't remember I, either. I remember seeing uh, Scott. No, I have it. No, I, I feel I, like I, I want to say Scott, but it's probably yeah. Not no, right. I'll think of it in a second, but I can't remember it now. So I mean, you came out of this incubator that yeah. was thought of. Do you, do you know who thought of that to start with? Because I don't think we've gotten the full history on the incubator itself, because we haven't had anybody from that incubator in the show. Oh, really? So it was uh, Jim. So originally, it was it was it was a funny little place. Yeah, because it was a combination bakery slash brewery. <laughs> right, so he Jim, uh, Jim liquid I think, bread, real bread. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bread was sweets, <laughs> yeah. sweets. Oh, yeah. So Jim, I think his original idea was that he was going to put up a a brewing arrangement and let home brewers come in hmm. and use it. So we talked to the the what the LIBME. Yes, we talked to them. I'm pretty sure. And, um, uh, in their early goings, I mean, they've been around for over ten years now. Yeah. But yeah. this was before, you know, everything exploded right. here, and now they have a million members. And right. So it was probably right. like the original core membership during that time. Right. So he talked to them and said, hey, you know, would any the home brewers be interested in using this facility for home brew? And they're like, no, we all have our own, our own mm. stuff. But a couple of them pulled aside and said, but if we could get, you know, a license there and have it a commercial space, then, of course. We could all benefit from and that. And it's interesting. Right. Yeah. So... Especially, so, and, and sorry, I just, yeah. just to, to give everybody, uh, the audience, um, an idea. So Farmingdale at the time was kind of up and coming. Yeah. It wasn't to the point where it is now. It had some great spots. They had the downtown at the time, and it had, uh, you know, all the, some restaurants starting to come in. It's not where it is now, by any means, but right. it was kind of, so that, uh, another thing to attract people. Yeah. To say, oh, well, you're going to have a storefront now on an up and coming town. You know, and something that you're gonna maybe even turn a profit from. Yeah. So, how did that develop? So, what did? Uh... Yeah. So then, I think uh, the original, original, a real first original group w- was Jim, which he called a Taste of Long Island. That was his brewery. Mm-hmm. Um, Charlie, 1940s. That's right. There. Yep. Uh, Bobby from uh, Po Boy. Oh, oh right. yeah, that's uh, right. Was he, there also, and he's still a big active member in the um, in the brewing club. In the brewing club, uh, he's with Hand Grenades. No, I don't think he still so. does. They're LIBME? all Suffolk. Hand, hand grenades is Nassau. Oh, so he's beer. Ah. 
Yeah. So he'd be here. Okay. I, th- I right. think so. I yeah, just yeah. assume so. That's um, the East End, yeah. Yeah, and I think I'm I feel like I'm forgetting somebody else who was that first Brewers collective. That very first Yeah. Exactly okay. right. The, the collective. That w- those were the, the real initial ones. Wow. A few months later, I literally bumped into Jim. I, I think I read about it. And I was like, oh, that sounds like a great idea. I'd love to. I bumped into Jim at uh at the uh, homebrew supply place in Farmingdale. The yes. Oh, Kedco. Love that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kedco, yeah, yeah. Kedco, yeah. yeah. yeah, Kedco, yeah. Uh, then, uh, great. Those guys are great. And then, and then, my dad buys his winemaking supplies. There. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. I bought my first bag of hops from my homebrew uh, there. Uh, yeah. Centennial and, and um, <laughs> Mount Hood. No oh, one wow, uses that remember. shit anymore. Mount wow. Hood hops. I think wow. I may still even have a, like one of those cryo packs still yeah. in my fridge somewhere. Wow. I'll Sounds take it like out one day. We'll just bring it in here and open it and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> eat pellets. <laughs> it's pelletized, so. Yeah, it's like. Yes, please. Uh, so, uh, that's, yeah. an, that's interesting. So you had some pretty big players in that game at that point who have pretty well-established breweries on Long Island now. Yeah. So I think most of them, and, and, and I think the same, I guess, viewpoint uh, I ultimately took was it was a little bit of a proof of concept, at yeah. least for me. So, you know, I, I can't speak for, for Charlie or for – for Bobby, but I think they everybody wanted to move on quite quickly. It was a little hmm. bit. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't have, and the community was a little different then. Yeah, you and, know, you, and you I, all have to be sharing that equipment too. Right? I remember so, sharing the front end equipment, the brew house equipment. Right, we all had our own fermenting oh, okay. bright tanks. So the, right, right. You know, ah, the cellar okay, okay. equipment was was individual. Got it. Um, and then those original guys, I think, also put some sweat equity into building some of the place down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, because at the time wasn't the 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 ferment areas and everything down in the basement. Mm-hmm. Everything was down there, right? So it was downstairs. It was, yeah. it was it was a little uh, a little tight. <laughs> wasn't it wasn't an easy brew day? No. And, 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 and for whatever reason, I I took the longest. I know, but uh, for what and, and it's not because I'm you know I'm, I'm more thorough. It was just like whatever for whatever reason I took a long time. But was it the style you chose more than likely, or uh, is partly? It just... That was only a little bit. I, I really never figured out why I was there like forever. Just yeah, I never did figure out. It was like yeah, Kevin's still here, you know. Hey, we're gonna lock up. Take care, Kevin. So, um, but uh, you know, I, I know they all they all moved on, and and you know, for me also, it was okay. You know, I I had a minimal investment, and I got to prove that yeah, there's there people like my beer. Yeah, you know, which believe me, because you, you know the licensing process and the build up process, no matter how you do it, takes like a year. So and I'm it's sitting expensive. there going, is the world ready for Belgian, or is Long Island ready for Belgian? And I, and I, I really didn't know. Hmm. You know and, then, and then after a while, it was great to hear people like independently just say, oh, I love that flying Belgian beer. Right, right. And I'm not, honestly, I'm not the type to like to brag, but I really would hear that every now and then. I, I was blown away. People would ask about it. it just because it was so rare. It's a little different. Yeah. It is. It's yeah. rare, and it yeah. wasn't easy to find. So if you were yeah. technically like really looking for it, um, you could only find it in a few select a few places, spaces. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it actually yeah. probably raised a little hype to it at the time. I don't want to use the word hype. I take that yeah, back because yeah. everyone's in a hype. Oh, hype root. No, no, no. Yeah. It wasn't like that. It, it was a little cachet, different. a little bit yeah, of that. Yeah, that's better. Ah, that's better. Like that. it's, yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's a sexier word. I like yeah. that better. Novel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, novel concepts. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, and then, um, you know, lithology took over. And also, it was it was it was it was difficult. Like for me, for the style of beer, it was very difficult to brew my style of beer there. Hmm. And and uh, just with the, the the equipment they had, or yeah, but the equipment was a little it was it was uh, tough equipment to brew on. Okay, at the, you know, it, it, I'll just say that. And uh, the, the facility definitely needed some work, and they put work into it. Yeah, um, yeah, because it really helped. Uh, and, and you know, good for them. But yeah. lithology then take off because it was a bunch of infrastructure built there. Right. The electrical was in place. Yeah. The plumbing was in place. Yeah. So it made it a nice, easy transition when, yeah. in fact, that happened. Yeah. Um, so, so continue on. Sorry. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just thought yeah, it was No problem. There. So, uh, you know, d- d- decided to move on. Um, and then it's just difficult you know, to find a place. Uh, I was looking a little bit. It's a little, it was also a little bit difficult. My day job, I was literally uh, working in Washington, D.C., Oh, and dro- I would I would I would uh, tr- get up on Monday morning at two thirty, mm-hmm. drive down to D.C., work my day down there, work the week down there. Instead, my sister lived nearby, and then on you know depending on the schedule, Thursday or Friday night I'd drive back, and then I'd brew on Saturday the days right. I was brewing. So that was uh, let's just say unsustainable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and also I was and, and I was looking for a new place. So and I was like Jesus, you know this is going to be really rough, but I I, I really want to do it. Uh, I'm going to do it. And then, you know, you know, Long Beach was in a similar situation. So I suggested to them, I said, hey, um, you know, if you guys are interested, I'd like to go in with you. 
you know, or, or you know, we can't go in together the way, the, the way it's structured, but I'd like... With the licensing. The licensing, yeah. you know, so I want to be an alternate... And you already had yours at that point, right? I had my, I had my old prop license, yeah. I had right. my license at the time, but, at, you know... You know the way it yeah, works. You, you, you really know how it is with the, with the licensing. It's yeah. not like, oh, you can just put white out on it. If anybody knows what white is, that's <laughs> yeah, white yeah. out anymore. And just say, oh, you were over in Farmerville, now you're in Oceanside? Okay. Yeah, 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 easy makes, peasy. Makes to us. No, that's a <laughs> gazillion year process. <laughs> but so, uh, but, but, you know, at first I don't think, that, you know, they, they took it, they, they thought it was a good suggestion and later on we revisited and said, yeah, well, this and that, we could work this and that. So I said, the only thing is because of my schedule, I can't be the, the, uh, the the lead or whatever that you know the 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 uh, head holder the head holder of the license yeah, whatever you want to call like it that, I yeah. said I just I just don't have the you know it's it's, it's primarily myself right. number one and, and I you know with my travel schedule I just I just can't see myself doing it so you know so what do you what do you a, do I'm an engineer. So what yeah. does that mean? Do you, you're a train conductor? <laughs> Whenever, <laughs> I wish. No, I'm serious. Whenever anyone yeah, yeah, says no, engineer, it's, I think it's, it's immediate. It's like, oh, you got the hat and you're it's, 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 it's a bro. You know, so I'm an electrical engineer. I work. Uh, oh, cool. I, 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 was, I was bouncing around for a little bit, but now I'm back really to my main. So that should really help when you guys were doing some infrastructure work at the brewery at Taste New York. Yeah. Your expertise came into play, I would imagine, right? I, I would, mean, but I wasn't involved. Oh, you weren't involved uh, in that part. But I really wasn't involved. Yeah, so with, not because I wouldn't have been. It's just that. Those initial, you know, uh, you know, those first few months, the little plank owners, as I would say, in the okay. name, those guys were yeah. the ones that did all the work. So okay, it, but now, you know, so f- talking about Long Beach and yeah. you guys coming into the space, yeah, how important is it to have some of that background to, uh, to, of, of electrical engineering and being able to to at least yeah. know what you're working with? Yeah, absolutely, it's some helpful. people will I mean, get, I, you know, it, 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 it's it's like eighty percent helpful, and there are twenty percent of times where I get carried away. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like it was something the other day where I'm like, I was kind of making a twenty dollars solution for like a dollar problem, oh, no. you know. And, and 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 then you know, my, my wife isn't hearing this now, but you hear it at some point. She's like, Yeah, you got you do that all the time, man. Yeah. You're always it's like you don't need all the lights, you don't need Wi-Fi, you don't need this. I'm like, Yeah, but I do. <laughs> it makes me so. feel better that everything's you know structured out and everything's yeah, yeah, fine, yeah. So, um, so as you were, I mean, you said you you made this departure from. The taste of New York. Right, right. How how did all how did everyone else leave? I mean, was everything on good terms? How did that transition go over? Do you know a lot of what had happened in between? It all depends. I mean, it's a different. Like, so you know, I'm sure it's different for everybody and how they it felt. It's different yeah. for everybody. I mean, you know, it, it, you know, the 1940s, Paul Boy and the Brewers Collective, they moved on. You know, they said, hey, you know, this is great to get started. They, and it, it was still Jim at the time, so they said, we're moving on. Right. Um, you know, when it got to you know, lithology took over. You know, they ha- let, they do you know how it, that happened? Pardon me? Do you know how that happened? How lithology took over? Yeah, yeah. Did they just come in, or were they part of the... the... No, uh, J- Jim offered it to me also. Oh, okay. So you it know, was kind of offered it, out it there. Was, it was offered to me, to my company, and to lithology. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and he wanted a decision, like, ridiculously quick, and lithology <laughs> made a decision quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, I, I, uh, I have a minority partner, and we discussed it, and we're like, you know... And that would have been my next question. Who else you have involved yeah, with the yeah. with the with the brand or with the company? So yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's you're not just making these decisions on your own. You have to. Uh, kinda... Mostly, a lot of times I am. Yeah, you know, I have yeah. been a lot with you know that 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 was Mike. Um, you know, he's involved in something. I do consult him. Okay. Um, and I actually, you know, sometimes just need a. Uh, because you, I, I, I make a ton board. of decisions, <laughs> yeah. and, and and it sometimes it gets it gets it gets wearing on you to make all these decisions. Yes. Honestly, yeah, I would imagine. You know, so and what, uh, what's his background? Does he have a? He's financial also an engineer, or? but he's finance. Well, he's an engineer, okay. but he, he's his heart's in finance. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that that helps. I think yeah. to have a um, a blue collar and a white collar together yeah. usually helps out really well. Yeah. Cover all your bases. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. good. So, uh, so you guys uh, left on kind of on, you know just yeah we're we're not going to be buying the whole place so let's move on. Well, yeah, they, they, they let us stay for a little bit, but it was very clear that, you know, they wanted, they, they didn't want to continue that with with everybody. Right. Or really, ultimately, with anybody. Huh. So, you know, I mean, that was, you know, so we moved on, you yeah. know, and like I said, it was it was difficult. The transition was very, very difficult because you're out in one place and you don't have a home, so it's. Whatever you want to call it, you know, homeless <laughs> brewer or the vagabond brewer, yeah. whatever it was. But it, it took took a long time. We've taken a long time now. And so when you left, I mean, there was still blonde out there. You're still producing yeah, so we were just beer. contracting. 
So I was I was doing open? everything I could, whether that was the right decision or not, and I'll and I'll just to keep probably the brand going, know, just to keep it going. Yeah, I felt like it was out there. It was okay. It was painful to have only one beer because I was contracting, so I started contracting upstate at Butternut. Oh, okay. Where, where a bunch of people have have, have contracted. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I, you know, I really wanted it local, so I was able to work with uh, Great South Bay. Yep. So okay. I had been doing it with Great South Bay, but it was doing it at such a large volume. I really couldn't do more than one one skew. Yeah. Okay. So I only had the blonde out there. Yeah. Which which I which I love. Are, what what are their barrels? Are at uh, what are they 60, 80 barrels? What are they? Oh, there are thirty. Well, the, uh, anywhere the from thirty to one hundred. Yeah. Or, so or I guess more. You could choose. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. The lower like, I'll take the minimum. In fact, you know, <laughs> yeah. what's the penalty for doing fifteen? Can yeah. I do fifteen? <laughs> you just do half of the. Yeah, tank, he's believe me. I was like, because it's just you well, know, because then you're out there selling yourself, correct? I mean, you're out there. Marketing it, trying yeah. to get into bars and restaurants, yeah. getting people involved with it. Yeah, I have some help here and there. Okay, I, I do have another mi- minority partner, and, and and she helps, but she moved, oh. so she's still involved. But you know, we'll be mo- hopefully getting some stuff upstate because oh, of that. Um, you know, I've brought people on here and there to help, but at the end of the day, yeah, I'm the chief cook and bottle washer, and, <laughs> and in brewing, literally bottle washing. Yeah, you know, as, I, as I was bottling some of the stuff myself a little bit. I guess the good um, thing with having the contract is there's a lot less to worry about. Oh, there is. Yeah, there is. It, it's, it's turnkey. Yeah. You know, and there's something to be said for that. And I, I, I trust them and they're good people. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, all of that. They kind of know what they're doing. No, they do. Great <laughs> yeah. 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 No, no, they say me. They, yeah. When I look at me, like, hey, he kind of knows what he's doing. Right. And I'm like, well, not so sure, but hey, pretty good. Hey, he pays the bills sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so. And that relationship must have uh, been really, like, helpful as you went through this transitionary time from having a spot that you were, you know, right. kind of safe using and, and already have to pee. No, I was gonna get oh, you're going to get beer. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, you have to pee. Like, I'm, I'm the first one usually. It's like, dude, we got to go pee. Um, to have that, that transition time, to have those guys in there, that, that's, yeah. it. that's really important. It's, yeah. And it helps the scene. Yeah. Our scene on Long Island is, oh, yeah. Something um, really different? That's uh, Rebel Kettle, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll try that. It's a beautiful label. I love yeah, it. Yeah, oh, dude, that's what we it's, couldn't stop talking about. Branding. Yeah. And he wanted to change it. He's like, I, 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 it's just something to get us started. I'm like, get you started. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? We're I don't know. I don't know if like I say we're all like that, but I'm you have no idea like every detail yeah. that I'm like and I'm almost never satisfied. <laughs> you know, and I'm, I, you know, I'm yeah, satisfied yeah. with this because I've done a lot of the direction but I don't do a lot of the work on the labeling. Okay. So uh, you know, when I say I'm never satisfied, this is pretty satisfied. Yeah, though. when you but look at it, you <laughs> at least have a choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His yeah, it's the, beautiful. I love the, the color on that. The yeah. branding is yeah. just I don't I So yeah. on most we're of the other cans, it. and this one's uh, I guess a special release, but on most of the other cans, it's the uh, the skeleton with the pompadour. And then they change the colors in the background to represent the styles. Yeah. So that's the main logo. But on this one, then they kind of went through this trend because they're doing that. Was it Chipotle Porter? Yeah. Yeah. So they went through this kind of change in that. And it's sure. very, very cool. You could keep yeah. the can later. Yeah, yeah, I would like to. No, because <laughs> yeah, I, 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 like to to, I like to show it to my, you know, my wife does a lot of the, the, uh, the direction on the artwork. Okay. And my brother-in-law does our artwork. So cool. We just like, you know, when I see one, I appreciate it. Yeah. And what, uh, where are they from? Arkansas. Arkansas. Oh, that's right. You did say that. Yeah, yeah they mailed us nice. some beer, which is super cool. So I just and reached out to him really quick. And I, was like, I love the name. I love, I yeah. love it. I love it. Right? Yeah. I love it. I reached out to him and I go, oh, this is a cool looking beer. You want right. to, you know, call into the show? They're like, we're not going to call in, dot, 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 until we send you a shit ton of beer. I'm like, okay. And within yeah. a week or two, they had beer mail at my door and they sent us a shit ton of beer. And we had it on air while they were on the phone. It was a cool nice. experience. Yeah. yeah, cool. That, that We were on the phone with them for a, probably an hour. Yeah. Talking all sorts of stuff. Um, Food. They do, uh, because uh, it's a brew pub. Yeah. It's a brew pub. Nice. Which is so and different. A, uh, than a fucking genius idea for a burger that I've, I, I don't know why it's never been a thing here. Uh, he does shrimp on a burger. So they do like a blackened burger. Nice. With <laughs> shrimp and, and like, uh, yeah, the theme was Cajun style yeah, food. Cajun oh, burger. Love it. Oh, love it. Love it. I'm like, that's. It sounds so delicious. Why? Yeah. Why is that not a thing? Why am I yeah, not tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We must have that. Um, yeah. So I mean, the contracting thing, like we were talking to them yeah. about that as yeah. well. Um, and <laughs> and Grace Out Bay was here. I had uh, we had Jake from Grace Out Bay, one of their uh, sale the sales guy, okay. uh, talking about you know you know how they expand and how they pull back and then how Zach. they Zach, did it, no. Did I say it was Jake? Jake from State Farm. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. You're right. It is Zach. No, it's not Zach. No, we're both wrong. We're both idiots. I know. I don't know why. It's coming back to me. Anyway. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> it, you, you, you might be right. It might be Zach. I don't, I don't even remember. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it's probably Zach from Great South Bay. You're right. Um, and, yeah, we were talking about the contracting and how important that was to his uh, business. We were right, right, Zach? You got it right. You got it right. 
Jeff. Shaggy. <laughs> Did I, I, I was thinking ja- uh, Jake from um, when we had Fifth Hammer. It's still in my mind, Jake from State Farm for some reason. Oh, okay. Every time. I don't know why. Anyone that's close to that, I'm like, yeah, that's it. Um, and well, what they did to uh, expand and then come back. So we were asking them out in Arkansas, is there anything like that? And there isn't. They're not very, very close to anything. Yeah. They're kind of out there on their own flying free. So it's, it's, it's tough. If they wanted to start something and they ran into issues yeah. along the way, they don't. There you go. They didn't have anybody to fall back on. And that's what I th- always thought was great about Long Island is that we have some truly established decade-long breweries, and they're all willing to help out. What's up? Do you, you, you want to? Yeah, he says. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he probably drinks uh, straight off the uh, Bright Tank. So they do indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Three in the morning. Yeah. Sometimes. Oh, the, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it in a second. Let me finish mine. So, I, uh, you know, I, I think that's super important to how, how this, this area has built its infrastructure yeah. and getting a lot of the small breweries up and running and going. It's the help. It's the lending hand. Yeah along the way that yeah. you've obviously felt as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so from there, you know, obviously you were working with these local breweries and, and contracting. W- what was the first thing that you needed to do in order to kind of get to that relationship that you have with Long Beach or, or get to that uh, location you guys uh, started up? And, mm. and give me a little bit of background from then on, that chapter. From saying, hey, let's get together. Yeah, pretty much. Let's, let's get married. Let's We've heard a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much what you got. Yeah, uh, signed me. a lot it's, of paperwork uh, together. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, we've had discussions with them about, you know, how it's gone, but we haven't really delved into that whole relationship. Mm-hmm. We thought it might be better to talk from you because yeah. for them, they were kind of already on a path, and then they're like, oh, well, this could happen. Yeah. So yeah. let's hear what, uh, you know, your perspective of that whole journey was. Yeah, so, we, you know, we uh, it didn't take us very long to say, Kevin, are you serious about that idea? And I said, absolutely. I said, not only am I serious. Well, how did you how did you how do you know those guys? So they, they actually, believe it or not, also had signed a contract at Taste of Long Island. Oh, did not know that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wow. There were several new information. Who, there was uh, uh, there were several breweries who had had uh, breweries in waiting. Let's just okay. say okay. at there and they waiting did, for a spot on the roster. Or? No, no, no. Just signed up and said, you know, one thing Jim was good about was. He didn't, Not having downtime. He didn't charge you or didn't, uh, at least he, he might have changed. But like, so when I signed up with Jim, I didn't have to pay like a, a deposit fee or, or I didn't have to pay monthly until I got up and running. It was like, hey, once you're up and running, okay, then we'll start the clock. Okay. Okay. Right. So I know Long Beach had gone and they said, okay, this is what we're going to do. And again, we'll another there. person on Long Island that yeah. helped the scene. Yeah. I mean, you could you could yeah. even say he's a bigger contributor than some of the breweries are at that and point. In some way, he could be. You could say he's he's one. I mean, the people that came, yeah, the beer scene or or what's yeah. what's Jim's last name? Uh, I'm blanking mind. on it. I uh, know <laughs> it's all right. I'm blank. I can see Jim. I can see him. You know, but he looks glorious. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, he yeah. that's a big deal for someone to have someone like that. Just like you said, yeah. reach out and go. Listen, you know, once you sell it for, then we'll talk about pricing. Once you get going. Yeah. That's something no one else really gets the opportunity. There's no one like that today, is yeah. there? You can't hard to, oh, harder to find. That. No, definitely harder to find. And well, know. just because there's so much, there's and so it's much, so much easier yeah. to make money on it. So much easier yeah. to, is that that yeah. way? Yeah, easier to make a little bit of money on it right off the bat. You got people so hungry to do it that they're yeah. willing to throw in, you know, hundred dollars just to get going. Yeah, yeah. So Long Beach had started. You know, they had signed up. Yeah. and and then you know once uh, once lithology took over. You know that that they, they weren't able to kind of complete complete it. You know, so you know they were out. Then they were out looking. You know, I had a place I looked at. I liked it. I wasn't sure. It was in Rockville Center. It's a Ooh. great little location. I don't Good. know that it would have gotten. I don't know that Rockville Center would have approved the brewery at that. Well, you know, it was a good say, town to it? get into. To, what if, oh, if, what if, if it, it would have had like a Main Street location? Unbelievable location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was just, it had been it was like two doors times from Parlay. Yeah. Oh wow! It was it was it was it was, re- it. It was ridiculous. You know, the rent but, was probably equally ridiculous. Well, <laughs> technically, the place wasn't for rent; it was ah. for sale. Ah. And I, I don't, and they're like, you, you know, you're interested in buying the whole place? I'm like, no, no I'm, not, I'm interested, <laughs> but uh, you know, I didn't. Uh, I worked you know, for that, that a million dollars my father left me. I already spent it. Yeah, you know, which he didn't leave me. No, but. So which uh, I never really got. <laughs> it was it was it was a nice location, but I don't think it was uh, it was uh, feasible, and it you know it was. It was bigger than lithology space, but not okay. a lot, you know. So yeah. it would be. But on the other hand, the tasting room would would have been unbelievable. There. Yeah, I mean the foot traffic, the, the foot, print, foot traffic yeah. alone, it just licensed the print money. Yeah, like, exactly. So, yeah. but um, you know, we found this other place, and I I love the location that we had, even though 
you know, there's some challenges with the location in terms of, you know, the parking. Mm-hmm. The one but, we have that you have now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you know. It's yeah, I've been down there. Been, okay. I've been down there. Okay. I, I was okay. down there. Uh, you guys, I saw. I I went to uh, South Shore's opening. Nice. And so when after yeah. I left uh, there, I cruised over. I was like, I got to check out the space, hoping that somebody was there, but nobody was there. Uh, but I yeah. ended up parking in the little lot to the south. Okay. Where the the ramp is. That yeah, yeah. You guys had, had built for I guess deliveries and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and but then there's street parking and. Then you got a major thoroughfare there, so it's it's going to be tough. The parking's going to be tough. The th- I like the thoroughfare part. It's yeah. Well, it's just like foot traffic. Only you're exactly. gonna you have if a nice big going to sign. Costco, we're going to see your sign. Yep, exactly. Yeah, so. You get a lot of exposure up and down. Was it Long Beach Avenue? Uh, Lawson Boulevard. Lawson Boulevard. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. So yeah, I mean that's that alone is going to get you to you know get that exposure you're looking for. You're going to have dual signs, I would assume. Or yeah, yeah, you, yeah. So yeah. you're going to have yeah. like your. We used hit, to have we used to have a sign. It was up a while and it got ripped. Yeah, yeah so the Long Beaches, yeah, so yeah, 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 so so, uh, but we'll have signage. I'll have my own signage. Awesome. It'll be guest, bro. You know, for the tap tap room, it's guest. Okay. So yeah. And is that how it has to be set up due to the license? I'm a guest tap. Got it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. But yet you could still brew there and do everything. I'm an all there. prop. I can do the brewing. Okay. There are just. You know, is it certain, certain labeling? Separate uh, brew house, or is it shared equipment? Or shared. What? So again, it's it's somewhat similar in concept. the The brew house part is shared. Uh, it's really theirs, and I, I rent it. Okay. And mm. then I have my own fermenting vessels. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah, I see. I have right. to build, I'm going to have to also make some changes to the quote-unquote infrastructure for, for the Belgian. Right. Okay. I have temperature concerns that other people don't. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. And they're for not what, producing... For what styles? That... Oh, well, it's certainly Saison. Right. Okay. You know, my Saison, you know, and, and I, Is that and I love that. yeast ferments at a higher temperature? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It needs, needs, needs a little higher temperature. I mean, you know, that's the first one I brewed. Even though I know you said saison is a summer a beer, but I, I I just love my saison. I am just, a huge fan. Of yeah. Saison, so so. Uh, and that's actually, God, what did I, I, that was the first one I brewed. I brewed that I think October eighteenth. It's still not done yet. Wow. Yeah. But it had a little bit. It was with temperature adjusting to the temperature. I had to repitch some of the yeast okay. to ah, get okay. it. To, you know. But that's I I, I I love that beer. It's coming out great. Mm. Uh, on out uh, Instagram Live right now, we have uh, Mark from Hopscotch saying hello. Says love you. And then, of course, we have uh, Graz. Yes, he is. Uh, yeah. Graz and Mark now are having a conversation back and forth on our Instagram live page. So it's very interesting. How many four-letter? Uh, no, <laughs> Graz said he loves Pete. He's the talent. And <laughs> and Mark says, ha, ha, ha. So, hi, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Get over here, Graz. He's on his way. Is Summoner, someone on the phone? And they hung up already. Oh, man. It's probably Dennis Murphy. I, he probably couldn't hear us because if I don't have it on. Well, let's find out. And do it. All right. This is the word Mike at PeteGoesRadio.com. Who do we got on the phone? Hello, guys. I'm Michael Pico. How you guys doing today? Hey, what's going hey, on? Going, Dennis? Dennis Murphy, how are you, sir? How's everything? Not bad. Not bad, guys. I'm watching your show right now. We speak. Love Thanks, buddy. Guys. Are you watching on the Instagram? Are you watching on Facebook? Are you watching on YouTube? Are you watching on GubsRadio.com? I'm watching on Facebook like always. There you go, as you always. How's everything going with you tonight? I'm doing good, man. I'm just teaching, you know. I'm mean, yep. just great. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, you are a longtime caller of the station. What do you have... Um, plans for this holiday season, Dennis? Well, this holiday season, I got a lot of things going on. I can't wait to can't wait to next month. I'm going on the radio with uh, Felix. Oh, okay. So you're going to be on Felix's and, show, uh, Let's uh, L-I, Let's Eat L-I. Thank you. Yep, I'm going there. I'm going there twice. I'm going there January 6th, and also I'm going there February 20th. And I think March or April, I'm doing my own show. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Yep. Are you going to, what, do you know what it's going to be called? And no, it's gonna be them special. Okay, all right, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And did you watch? Did you, did you guys watch the wedding? Last uh, I I taped it, uh, Dennis. I'm the one that set up the whole uh, the the technology to do it. So of course I had to monitor it along the way. Yes. Yeah, it was really good. Thank you. You guys did a good good job for me. No problem, man. I appreciate you being an avid listener and getting the word out for the station. Oh yes, they know how I am. Yes, sir, of Man, course. I, oh, you guys are awesome. Like I said, all of you single cut radio, you guys are awesome. I missed, I missed you guys on Thanksgiving. No, I, I know. You too, my, buddy. I cried my eyes out because I had nobody to talk to. When I oh, did. come on. You have plenty of people to talk to. You have uh, Everyone on social media is there for you. I know, I know. I'll just play with you guys. <laughs> Don't make me feel bad. It's getting to the holiday season. Everyone should be happy and bright. I thought there was a, was a reason to feel bad. Was no, it was not a reason. <laughs> All right, Dennis, we're going to let you go. we got a bunch of people going to call in the next uh, few minutes, so uh, keep watching, and uh, thanks again for calling in, buddy. 
I'd like to say a big thank you to Coach Radio for everything they did. Everything. Anytime, buddy. Yep. Uh, I think I'm stopping by maybe next week to jump off a Christmas card, maybe. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, whoever's going to be here is going to welcome you with open arms. Oh, yeah. Yep. Definitely. All right. right, Later, buddy. Later, guys. Cubs Radio number one. Yes, Cubs Radio number one. Dennis. Dennis. Yep. Yes. Uh, Dennis. Yes. I think you should get your own show on Gov's Radio. Take over Thursday nights. The guy on Thursday night sucks. Oh, I'm definitely going to my own show. I think I that am. fucking hack? <laughs> that hack. Thanks, Pete. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, hang up. I see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mike. Yes. I was waiting for him to hang up because he's going to comment again. Hi, hi, Grazaday. Anthony Grazaday from Little Talk Podcast here on GovsRadio.com. Thursday, starting at 9 p.m. for your season finale. What's going on, brother? No, I got two. I got three more than mm-hmm. my season finale. Three I thought three. you said you were going to do the last one, and that was it for the December. I thought you had conflicts. I got. They offered, they offered me a free month. What do you think? I'm, I'm like, I'm Jewish. It's free. It's me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you having strippers for your season finale, Graz? Oh, you guys are going to tell me if, this, if you guys are having strippers for season for now, I'm getting in the helicopter. To get <laughs> <laughs> I forget what number. Oh, there it is. I got it. Hold on. I got it. There you go. Graz is going to come over in the helicopter. There he is. So, Graz, oh, are you great. on your way now? We got the uh, Gov's radio helicopter coming through. Yeah, I should be there in like 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a slow helicopter. Yeah, it's, it's going to be slow. The weather's bad. It's, it's snowing over here, bro. Is it? Where's uh? Yeah, hey, where's the rest of your uh, where's the rest of your crew? Where's uh, Nicky Nucks? Yeah, apparently the snow kept everyone away. So uh, I was hoping that uh, you you'd come by and grace us with your presence. And if not, no big deal because we got Kevin in here this, with beers and uh, we got a lot of beer to drink. We'll snow ourselves in. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Hi. How are you? Very good, thanks. How are you? Good. What's the name of your uh, Flying Belgium? What is it? Yeah, Flying Belgium Brewery. Really? Where is it? Oceanside. Do you make a uh, dark stout? I do not have a dark stout. I do plan on a Belgian dark stout, Ooh, but I don't have go. that uh, finalized yet. Chocolate nibs? Chocolate nibs? Uh, probably not. There we go. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Kevin, I'm not liking you. You and I are not going to get along. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Trust me, I, I, you're not the first one who don't like me. <laughs> What's, what's going to happen is it's like turbulence. When I walk in, you're going to have to put your seatbelt on. Okay. <laughs> it, gets a, it, it gets a little stinky, okay? Yeah, there you go. All right, I'll see you in a little while, Mike. All right, later, buddy. See you, guys. Bye. All right, it's the word with Mike at PeteGoesRadio.com. Phone number here, 516-465-3990, 516-513-0515. If anyone is uh, still checking in on the Instagram as I take it down in just a minute because my arm is getting tired, uh, go ahead and go over to our Facebook page. Go to uh, Facebook, type in Govs Radio, and we are live there uh, till an indefinite time. Uh, also, if you go over to YouTube and type in Govs Radio, we are over there live. Or come to our website, GovsRadio.com. Check us out today. Uh, well, we're going to end... F- Instagram live just like that and no. Let's see. Good. I don't have to oh, oh, that fucking took forever. Um that's a nice one, right? Uh so yeah, let's uh let's let you wanna take a quick break? Sure. Yeah, because we're forty five minutes in and then we'll just reset and we'll get back to we'll start drinking some beers. Sounds good. I'm excited because which one which one did you bring? I brought the Salvation Alamode. Never had it. And yep. that sounds I feel like I've seen it. It's uh well if we're going to take a break, I'll tell you when we come back. Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yep. Don't spoil the uh, yeah, excitement. Right. <laughs> All right, it's the word of Mikey P. GovsRadio.com. We'll be uh, right back after this. Govs Radio. <laughs> this is the word on Govs Radio. <laughs> this is Govs Radio, and you're getting drunk with Mike and Pete on the word. Hey, it's the word of Mikey P. GovsRadio.com. We are live here at Governor's Comedy Club in Far Levittown, New York. I don't know why I said Farmingdale. Uh, <laughs> we're here live with uh, my co-host for two years now, Pete. And of course... I'm from Farmingdale. You are from Farmingdale. That's probably why I said Farmingdale. And of course, Kevin from Flying Belgian Brewery. And we're just cracking open uh, one of the beers that you brought today. Um, and uh, give us the lowdown. It's the uh, Sal... I can't... Oh, say. good Lord. That's Salvation. 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 Ah, Salvation's a la mode. Yeah. I, I like that idea. Yeah. Um, give us a little breakdown of this. So tell us a little bit about this because I think like a lot of people are ready. Yeah, a lot so of people are familiar with the blonde. The blonde, yeah. The blonde's <laughs> like you know everyone. I think at one point probably has tasted it in the last you know five years or so. Well, because that's the only thing we've had. <laughs> right. Yeah, <it's>, <laughs> right. So unfortunately, you know, we're yeah. like uh, you can have anything you want as long as it's the blonde. As long as yeah. <laughs> don't try. <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, so this is a little different. So I, I haven't had anything else but the blonde from you. So right. I'm actually excited right. about uh, we, we trying did something it. a little new. We did have this available. Um, I've seen it on a board somewhere. That's we had it a little right. bit. Um, you know, it's uh, the best. Descri- it's it, it it you know it's not categorized. Okay. But I would say the best description would be it's like a triple, a little bit of honey flavor. Okay. Uh, okay. I can feel that. A little that. bit yep. of citrus. A little bit, and I've also got coriander in there. So oh, you, it's right now. I think it's uh it's probably still, you know, a, a strong alcohol taste, and it, it, the the coriander may not be coming through. That's no. Fine. Yeah. I, the coriander I don't get. Yep. It t- tastes kind of dry. Very dry. Fit, yeah. Which Very I, dry. Which is good. Yeah. You have uh, like a like a yeasty kind of bready aroma. Yeah, okay. that, I like that yeah. uh, yeah. of yeah. my Belgiums. Um, can I see the can for a second? I just want to take a look ski at everything. So we were talking about can art before, yeah. and you were saying that uh, you know <clears throat> you're always looking to like really perfect what you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. So traditionally, everyone would notice the uh, hot air balloon. Where'd, th- where'd that start for? God, that uh, obviously, awesome. flying Belgium. Yeah, yeah. yeah so so well, what, what's the uh, actually, history? Uh, of that? I'll also share the kind of origin of the of the company name. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, that'd be so. Uh, a gazillion years ago. Uh, I was taking my MBA classes at Hofstra. Wow, this, wait, this is eight percent. I was thinking of yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I was, I was at that time. I was interested in uh, you know, this is like two thousand four, two thousand five, and I'm looking you now. How can I get in the beer business? I'm sorry, you said NASA? No, uh, Hofstra. I-, I went to Hofstra. Yeah, I did my MBA cl- uh, course. Ah, nice, cool. So, um, and I said, you know what? We have to do a final project on. On a doing a business. Okay. I said, me and my team, so let's do it on a brewery. <laughs> so we did the brewery and called it, you know, Hofstra used to be called the Flying Dutchman. That's correct, yeah. Ah. All right, somehow, I don't know if it's because of political correctness or just whatever it is, but now it's no longer the Flying Dutchman. I thought the Flying Dutchman was a great name. Yeah. What's wrong with a Flying Dutchman? I don't know. In today's I, cancel I, culture. I, you're, you're asking me, <laughs> I don't know, and maybe there wasn't anything. You know, maybe they just decided to switch over to, what is it now? Uh, Pride. Pride. Yeah, Hofstra Pride. Pride. Yeah, so which maybe, is lions and or female lion, right? The, the the family of lions. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, like, <laughs> like lion. I was still in on the Dutchman. I was. I, I graduated as a as a flying Dutchman. Do they not fly the Dutch? No, I guess not. I guess it's that. Mm. I guess maybe because of the crazy hats that some of them wear that makes it look like oh, they're. For fuck's sake. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> <it's> <laughs> in the political hey, correctness in the political of the world. world whatever. Oh, God. So, so, you know. So, fast forward. What, 10, 10 years from then, and I always had it in the back of my mind. I'll just say my my uh, my corporate career is eh, whatever. Mm-hmm. So uh, <laughs> so I'm like ah, you know, I still keep on getting drawn back into getting back in that beer business. Yeah. So I decided to go in the beer business. But uh, believe it or not, this may sound weird, but I, I felt inauthentic calling the company the Flying Dutchman when I'm doing <laughs> Belgian beer. Yeah, and Fair then enough. I could also discuss. I, I I lived in Holland for a little bit, and I lived in Germany, and. Technically, uh, the part of the uh, t- part of the uh, the Belgian brewing is in technically in Holland. Yeah, you know, oh, but it's okay. it's really the the the, the Belgian or French uh, speaking community. So not not getting into all of that, I decided to call it the Flying Belgian. Okay. So I throw it out. My brother, I said, my brother in law does the artwork. I said, what do you think for a logo? And he comes back with a couple of suggestions. One's the blue, and I say, I love it. Okay. I just love the balloon. You know, I mean, I could, I could say it's aspirational. I could say there's a lot to it, but I, ties I just, into I just the like name. it. <laughs> but I, and, and at the end of the day, I just like it. It's, it's different. Yeah. I, I can't think of any other brewery that has a balloon. Nope. For, an, for, for a logo, and we, we've had so, I think, a lot of fun with it. I can have a lot more fun with it. Uh, you know, it up to does it leaves itself open for a lot of, you know, a stuff lot of things that, you can that do I can do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we've got balloons all over the house now. So <laughs> just kind of the just origin. hot air balloons. Right. Yeah, no, we, you know, we just find <laughs> balloons places. And, all right, that's it. Next thing I'm like, I, I give it a red brother. I said, all right, paint this with the company colors. By the way, the uh, the elves last night hit the hot air balloon. Oh, in paying they? homage to what we were going to have on today. They were in a hot air balloon flying high above the living room. My wife had to send the kids on a wild goose chase this morning because she forgot to move the elves. <laughs> so she said, oh, I think they're downstairs. They're in the tr- Why don't you go check downstairs you? while I definitely don't go in any <laughs> rooms and go get them and place them somewhere else? <laughs> you didn't see them, right? You didn't see them, right? All right, perfect. All right, go downstairs. Get, lift up the couch cushions. Make sure everything's fine. And I promise you. Oh, wait, who's on the phone? It's the word Mike at radio.com. Who do we got on the phone? Hey, guys. It's Mark from Mouse Gosh. How are hey, you? Mark. What's up, buddy? Mark. buddy? How's it going? Hey, Kevin, how are you? Good, man. How are you? Good. Kevin, Thanks where are the el- Mark? Where are the elves in your house right now, pal? The elves? Do you not? Do you know? Well, that's right. This is your first kid. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you, you don't have to deal with the uh, the fucking elf on the shelf yet. The stress no. of the morning wake up saying, did I fucking move the elf? Who moved the elf? <laughs> Good morning. It's Monday morning. Uh, how you doing out there? Did everyone move their elves today? No. Oh, shit. I didn't move the elf. <laughs> Where did I put it? I'm a little anti-Christmas decoration, so I'm going to Oh, like God. We but have your to whole shop more, is set up beautifully. It looks gorgeous with the new lights above. And I uh, fucking hate Christmas decorations and more yeah. about the holiday season. Because yeah, you're in charge of all of it. <laughs> I, God, I... Uh, we don't want to have to tell the, the Christmas tree get... story, do we? No, we can we can talk about that later. I don't want to talk about that later. <laughs> Mark, uh, have you've had some uh, flying Belgian beer? Am I right? Yes, it was been on. It went super fast. Yes, it did. It makes awesome stuff. Yes, you are one of those guys, and, and I, I applaud you for this. Over the last uh, year or two that we've known you, um, that you like to get your your board to have a lot of different stuff. Um, when you go in there and you're looking, you're not going to see five IPAs. You'll see one, maybe two if you want, like a different variant, a uh, single to a double or triple and whatever you've done. But you go out there and really look for the stuff that uh, people like us want to see. A, 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 a beer nerd. A beer nerd, a beer nerd board. board. Yes. Thank you. Variety is always good. Absolutely. So uh, I we... Uh, you kind of uh, was throwing it out there on your social media asking, you know, where should I find a, a new keg to fill my board with? And I threw out Smallcraft, which is a local, you know, I grew up in Amityville, so they're local to me. And I threw out Secatog. And uh, you did have Smallcraft on recently, so you were like, oh, I got to go to Secatog. I must yeah, have walked into the brewery you. probably uh, 40 minutes after you were there, less than probably. And I saw that you picked up the alt beer. How did that turn out? How, does, how did everything work out with that? Oh, it's Ooh. awesome. They're great guys over there. The place is awesome looking. Yeah. Very nice. It's Very well finished space. Decor. Yeah. And they make good beer on top of it. Yes. yes. Yes, they do. We have some here with us today. We'll be enjoying that after we... Do you have the alt beer? No, I didn't bring it. it. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I grabbed, like, of course, the double dry hop, the brand new one, the you milk, the milk, uh, whatever. Uh, which one was that called, Mark? The milk one? Milk, milk Apocalypse uh, or something like that. It was, like, signifying the Milky Way and then dry... Oh, Milk Andromeda. Andromeda and the Milky Way are going to collide in like 2.5 billion years to create one massive. So I should start worrying now. <laughs> you should start <laughs> really stressing out about the ho- the Christmas decorations now because you don't get them up in 2.5 uh, billion years. Galaxies. Yeah. Well, anyway, they came out with something that represents that, and it was like uh, one of their uh, ventures into uh, milkshake double. double milk Dromeda. There you go. So you even okay. looked it up while we're on the phone. Uh, uh, Mark, I'm, how, how was the alt beer? Yeah, how was the alt I, beer? I, the only one uh, I have experience with was uh, Long Beaches, which I liked a lot. It's a good beer. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they did, but the they did a great job with the carbonation of it. It's like it, it almost tastes like a nitro. Like the head was so creamy. Mm. Huh. Interesting. Tiny bubbles. Yeah. They did a great. I don't know if they ended up like using oat and you know oat, oat flakes or something to give it that creaminess. So it was really good. Hmm. It's still up. It's, Do you know what, what could have been used? Do you have any? Uh... Uh, he did tell me, and now I, I really don't remember. Ooh, someone's got inside information. No, it's, I, I'm, I'm forgetting. I'm not hiding. <laughs> <laughs> I just forget. Because yeah. you know, I taste it. I really did like it. Yeah. 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 The uh, Mark, I, I, while I have you on the phone, before I forget, before we do uh, depart with you, uh, we want to thank you for your help over this last year or so um, and, and promoting the show and, and hosting our tap handle adapter that you have there. And uh, actually contributing when uh, Pete was down for the Hexer State Park live uh, broadcast. Really appreciate uh, the uh, loyalty, I guess, is a good word to describe it. But the the friendship friendship that we've established over the last year or so, uh, it's been awesome, dude. Uh, You're you're welcome. I can't thank you guys enough for the same. It's uh... I mean, besides introducing me to Graz, which was like the worst idea ever. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's going to be introduced to Graz a little later tonight. So. I've already had a brief chat with him. He doesn't like me already. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the way he said. He didn't hate, he hated Mark to start. Now they're in business together and <laughs> doing stuff. So that's the way Graz is. He, he yeah, likes we got a second trip actually coming up. You do? Uh, oh, talk to me about yeah. that. In, fe- in February, we're looking to do Mustache, Long Island, and uh, North Fork. Nice. Ah, nice. That's a good trip. Yeah. So it should, it'll, be, it'll be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. I never get out there ever. So oh, sure, well. it'll be all- you, you don't only, you you only have a business far, to right? run. That's all. <laughs> What'd you say? You know, are, don't you live out east uh, there or my. Eastern area. Eastern area, right? Or my. Yeah, just, Deer, 
I'm right near the shop. It's oh, right okay. Oh, you know, oh, you work at Mather, isn't that right? I guess that. Uh, that's yes, what, yes. That's, that's a, okay. yeah. That's a hike. Yeah, yeah a little yes, bit. Yes, yes. You uh, you guys had a, a really great experience. I, don't, I was going to tell Kevin. Um, you know, uh, Graz also has a limousine company, and he has a uh, a bus, a, sh- a short bus. We okay. call it the Bang Bus. Okay. Um, that they he <laughs> does he does wine tours on. Uh, throughout the warmer times of the year, even now, I think he does occasionally if they if it gets booked. So as we were establishing this relationship with Mark, we said, and and Anthony and I were always talking about it. Let's do like a beer tour. Yeah. And I said, well, you know, it'd be cool if like the five of us went, you know, but let's do something like legit where you would actually have a real business established with beer tours. There's a couple of them out there yeah. already, mm-hmm. but this is more like a private one where we can kind of come up with our own concept, mm-hmm. not rely on what they've established relationships with. So he, uh, you know, Mark and, and Graz talked about it, and they came up with a few breweries in uh, Queens and Brooklyn that they went. We went to, um, let me get this straight. So you guys went to Other Half. Yep. You went Grimm. to Grimm and, and uh, Transmitter? Interboro. Interboro, that's right. So it was more Brooklyn than Queens, right? Yeah, it was Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn. Um, yeah, and then, then the Brooklyn uh, tour went very well, sold out, which was awesome. And then you guys are now, uh, you know, through popular demand, having to now take a trip out east and, and go the to the other, other end of the island. The complete <laughs> other end of the island. Yeah. And it's great. I mean, uh, I, Mark, I want to say, you know, like Pete and I always uh, have believed in the, the small local breweries on Long Island and the means of which to establish relationships with small businesses here on Long Island. We're a small podcast that has grown over the last, you know, two years and we all, we believe in that like that hometown feel, and that's why we you know enjoyed establishing that relationship with you and and having you and Graz connect and link up. Yeah, it was really awesome. I'm glad you guys did introduce us because uh, Graz is a really good guy. Yeah, despite what he sounds like on air, he really Indeed. he right. really he's still the man. He is still the man. <laughs> that's right. Wait, wait, Mark, we have someone on the phone. It's the word, Mike Pete. Who's on the phone? Uh, Nicky Knuckles, there, buddy. Hey, hey. Nicky Knucks, what's going on, buddy? Not much brothers with you guys. Happy anniver- happy end of season. Thank not you. anniversary. Well, <laughs> it might be the end of the series. We're still working on it. <laughs> Graz hasn't period. shown up yet and burned the place down, so it could be the end of everything. It's my fault, isn't it? No, 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 no. No, it's actually getting a little worse out there, but we should be all right. Uh, it's probably worse by you. Oh, weather. Oh, you mean getting out of the studio? I thought you meant getting out. Oh, yeah, okay. No, no. I mean, get for you getting over here. We invited you to come oh, in. Oh, forget about it. Oh, but yeah, no, I'll forget, forget about, about it. it. Yeah, forget about it. No, I'm working over here. I'm working on this Bronx brewery right now. You just can't mm. leave. Okay. And that's funny. It says you now you just can't leave. So I ain't leaving. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great title. For yeah, right? Me. I love that <laughs> title. <laughs> use guys. A, use guys can't it's leave a, now. No, it's what it is. Now you As in a Bronx tale, right? Bronx leave. tale. Yeah. Oh, that's a fucking great scene. Now you just can't leave. And it's a great line. Yeah. Too. That's fucking phenomenal. This is a dip, a, a DIPA, 10.1%. What? ABV. Isn't that, that's why you can't leave. That's wait, wait, isn't that cruising leave. into the imperial realm? Like, can you really still call it a double IPA if you're at 10%? I'm nah, not you know what? Oh, yeah. God, yeah. I was going to ask So as someone who doesn't have to brew Hazy people. Boys, yeah. do, you have to, do you have to care? <laughs> you know. Like, I've, yes. heard, I've heard in the circles that there's no real triple, that they call it triple. I've heard other people say, oh, this is a real triple, but I've heard that there's no real triple. No, no, and triple IPA uh, means not a triple Belgian style. Uh, right, no, or triple. triple. Uh, Mark, uh, Nick, hang on for a second. Mark, um, so do yeah. you do you have a, a, a date for that? You said sometime in February. You don't have anything set out for that particular trip uh, just yet? It's probably looking like the 23rd. I'm just going to confirm everything, but that's, uh, I mean, everything pretty much is settled. It's going to. Right. We've got to just sell it. Yeah, yeah, locking the plans. Is Ryan going to make artisan sandwiches again? Or- Yes, Arte- yes. Artisanal, artisanal sandwiches. <laughs> what does artisan mean? Is that the same thing, or is that like an adjective to describe the adverb? Another word for craft. Yeah, sure, craft sandwiches. Right. Those were a hit. I heard. I think I heard those were delicious. They were. He did a great job with them. He really did. He did is that like craft slices? Do you put craft slices on? Them? No, <laughs> <laughs> not cra- not cra- I don't think so. <laughs> craft singles. Individually <laughs> wrapped. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, yeah. He was peeling back the plastic on every single sandwich. He was using hot dog That's buns. That's a good beer. That's some good beer art right there. Get some craft singles on there, right? I think oh. mybomberjackets.com has already done that. <laughs> okay, there you go. The, the bomber jacket, uh, the 16 ounce can koozie. Uh, has done that artwork. Um, so, so Mark, where uh, where can people find tickets when you finally go on sale? 
Yeah, we'll uh, we'll post on Instagram and Facebook, and they'll be able to get them right off our website. Brilliant. And you expect a, a sellout just like last time? Yeah, unless it's a solid lineup, you should. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. You said it was uh, oh, yeah. Mustache, North Fork, to get a 32 passenger. and Long Island, right? Yeah. Yeah, the thirty the thirty two passenger um, short bus. Yeah. But that's that. If you sell it out, it's pretty good for yeah. what they did. You get the uh, the food on the way out, a couple beer. You get a flight. You get a flight at the uh, at the shop. Then you get food on the way. Then you get the three breweries, and they bring you back to the shop, yeah. where you can drink more good. and eat more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last time, I think we 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 ended up hanging out at the store for another hour or so. Nice. See, there, there you go. And that's the point, right? I mean, it's just to get people to start realizing there's more than just the uh, you know big big business. Big pharma yeah. out there. There's little farms yeah, really as well, with an F, not Everybody a Everybody who came to the trip really made it, I think. It was just a really good crowd, and we're hoping to get the same. Awesome. Uh, well, Mark, listen, again, thanks so much for uh, everything you've uh, helped us out with uh, for the show over the course of the last uh, year plus. And uh, we hope for bigger and better things as we go by and uh, move forward in our Season 3. And we have some big stuff planned ourselves, so hopefully we can include you in on um, it, all of it, if not most of it. Or most of it, awesome. if not all. Thank you, guys. Love you guys. <laughs> all right, and buddy. Kevin, keep making great beer. We hope to get that new one on top. Thanks, Ooh. man. All right. Good luck. Later. All right, See later, you, Mark. Mark. Mark from Hopscotch. Go to Hopscotch on uh, Facebook. To Ow, that hurts. Better Facebook, yet, Twitter. Visit Hopscotch on Long Island Avenue in Deer Park. Right. And I was going to say great for place. your locations. Yes. Great yes. place. Um, and for, of course, the the latest uh, tap line up. They have food. Yeah. Um, uh, freaking Ryan makes. And Oh, crap. Sandwiches, I think. He's got charcuterie. Yeah, yeah, charcuterie it's boards. Awesome. Yeah. It's a great little place. It really is. Yeah. I, I, I for the, for the, the craft beer lover, yeah. it's one of those places like, I got to go. Yeah. If I see a good lineup, I'm like, shit, now I got to go over there and yeah. have like four of those. Because I I don't want to go to four different breweries that day, but I can go to him and have four different selection. breweries. Yeah. Today. Nice Very good. selection yes. of food. Uh, it's a great place, a great concept. I'm yeah. so, uh, you know, yeah. so happy for him. Yeah, he's done some great stuff, like yeah. I said, for us as well. So yeah. we're, we're very pleased that everything's going well with him. Uh, Nikki Nux. Uh, yes, so uh, let me uh, quick quick question for you. Where have you visited uh, last? Where's the last place you've been over in your? So Nick is in Queens. He's our Queens correspondent. Uh, again, uh, thank you, Nick, for helping us out along the way. Nick has stepped up and, and <laughs> done some. my place in uh, Atlantic City. Uh, went to AC Beer AC Fest Beer last Fest. year, and then uh, this year, actually, it was this year, right? It was, yeah, in it was this year. March or April of this year. Yeah, that was hot. 2019. Yeah, it's been a long year, Mikey. <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> no, yeah. And then, You're not uh, fucking kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, especially for you, Man. Pete. Yeah. Dude, I took it on the chin in fucking 2019. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in more than once. <laughs> <laughs> um, he helped us out with the uh, Farmingdale... Um, the uh, what was that called? Farmingdale Beer Fall Fest, Festival? Fall, Fall Festival. Festival. Yes, yeah. 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 Sober October. I know he can't get this, Kevin. Right? So Nick is, you know, drinks a lot. He's right. he's doesn't have children. <laughs> he is he's he lives with his girlfriend, but he's unmarried. So the responsibility is just his job and minorly with the the the, the misses, right? Mm-hmm. So this guy lives within the epicenter of the Queens Brewery scene. So he can go to Finback. He can go over to, you know, Bridge and Tunnel. He can go to all those guys right. within minutes yeah. like we can out here. But he has less responsibility. So um, I just want to make sure everyone gets that point because <laughs> I don't have that. I ha- We're in a great spot, but I don't I don't have that least responsibility. You live vicariously to me, Mike. You don't That's a good point. You're right. You you, I do. About that. I so so know. Nick uh, Nick drinks uh, and has visited a lot of breweries and, and does things, and he's very— I don't post enough to have a gram for you. No, no, no. I don't no, do no, it. No. I don't do it. I don't, I don't, do, it. I don't, I don't do it. I just go away, enjoy these <laughs> things. I live in the moment. Yes, that's I don't fine. Post nothing. I don't take pictures that much. But, but my point but was that uh, Nick, um, he has this uh, this this month where he's like, I'm going to do a sober October. I heard him. The I heard whole that in the fall festival when he was doing sober October. Oh, you did. You heard? Yeah, oh, yeah. wow. All right. Yeah. So you listened. Oh, thanks, yeah. Kevin, for listening. In. Um, so yeah, he did. He did it. Not a drop. Kept not even a taste. At least he said that. Nothing. We don't have. No, no. Actual proof. I'm telling you right now. I was you know next that. to him all day. Okay. Not yeah. a drop. Okay. Nothing. I even more brought, willpower than me, my friend. We got <laughs> yeah. we got gifted an entire case from Bayside. Uh, people were just coming over and handing us stuff. Not a drop. I said the willpower on Nick is unbelievable. I've never ever seen that. At I, that I, point, I, I couldn't at do that it. At that point, I was coasting, man. That was easy at that point too. I mean, I was already in it, you know, for how many weeks already? I mean, but it was. 
That was, it, for some reason, yeah, because it was towards totally the end of the good. month, so yeah. he wasn't going to ruin it after having that willpower right, for right, weeks right. and missing out on things throughout the uh, that month to just ruin it on a fall fest. But uh, what was the deal with you? you were away? Is that what it is? No, no, that was uh, hospital trip number two for the wife. <laughs> <It's> hospital <laughs> yeah, hospital right. trip Thank number you. two for Pete. <laughs> um, and so I had to call in last minute. Mark was uh, Mark was going to be the fill in, and mm-hmm. he had uh, a prior commitment, and I think one of his guys wasn't going to be out at the shop, so he couldn't make it. So then Nick, like, within 12 hours of me calling him, goes, I'm in. I'll come down during Sober yeah, October. Yeah, it's Ted Stinger. Ted Stinger, my day. It's a starting lineup day. Obviously, it's not Sober October anymore for Nick because this is how <laughs> Nick is when he is not sober, and that's the great thing about him. I mean, he's like Will Farrell in old school, right? He just did. <laughs> it's just a minute. Did you see him on SNL what last happened? Week? Did you see him on SNL last week? It was pretty I did. It was actually a pretty good, good episode. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. 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 Ryan Reynolds and that monologue. It yeah, was, was a little weird. That was good. Change, it was right? weird, but that's that's Will Farrell. That's his comedy. That's what yeah, he loves doing. Yeah, it is. It is. So he's um, not a stand-up guy. So I want to thank you for the, all that and, uh, you know, everything you do for the show, buddy. And, uh, so you, know, you were asking me where I've been, though. And I right, right. I was going to get to that. But I just wanted to thank yeah. you before I forgot because I'd forget. Of course. No, you don't, you don't have to thank me. But it's my pleasure, man. Thank you for having me on, for having a little confidence in me. But um, what is it? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've been all over the place. I went to Finback again, and I gave you a bunch of good stuff, right? I gave you that latte. That was delicious, right? We were talking about it before. What was it? Uh, that stout? The yes. chocolate stout, right up grass. Yes, you the latte was good. Grass. I should have saved that for grass. That would have been delicious. Oh, yeah. This is really good, that. by the way. Yeah. This is, not, for, like Pete, not for Pete. Pete. Pete don't like it. Don't wait, like wait, wait. No, I'm talking about the, uh, we have uh, Flying Belgian in, um, and he has Salvation a la mode, and it's a uh, 8% Belgian. Um, oh, it's yeah. actually like 60, 80% New York State grain, 60% New York hops. It's a full New York beer. Uh, yeah, except nice. for the yeast, obviously. Yeah, you use Belgian yeast, but is right. Belgian yeast from not well, from here? Well, it doesn't. Can't be, can't do you have a can't house be considered strain sourced now? from. Pardon me. Do you have a house strain now of yeast? No, no, no. I don't do that. I don't do that. That's uh, for better brewers than me. <laughs> <laughs> that's more time in their hands. Well, no, the better people. You know, the more scientists. Than me. They're for scientists. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay, we, okay. I, Remember, I, I'm an engineer. Right. I'm not <laughs> a biochemist. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. So, uh, North Fork uh, Brewery has yeah. Ian. Ian is a goddamn scientist. He has right. a lab. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that's that's what I'm saying. Like for someone like that, it's yeah. hard to unless you have that biology right. background right. that can do that kind of right. stuff. It's tough. So unless he's doing it for you and then leaving it in labs and stuff like that. Yeah. But this is like... Is it the... the on Exceptionally good. The, the <laughs> smell, like, is that from the yeast? That, the, the, um, the smell off the, off the head of the beer, is that from the yeast? So they're, 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 they're Definitely the yeast effect, no question. Um, we're probably getting a little more residual yeast, quite frankly, than I'd like. Okay. In here, um, I, it's, it's going to settle. Uh, there's no question ab- about that. So... Farts um, tomorrow. All farts tomorrow. There you go. <laughs> That's okay. Um, That's all right. It, 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 it's a cleanse. It's a, what do you call it? It's evacuation, Nick, right? There you go. Evacuation. Morning <laughs> evacuation. Yes. Morning evacuation. So the smell is definitely from you know the yeast and, the, uh, and, and how it fermented. Okay. The temperature from the fermentation. It's, it's... So the esters... No, that's an ah, a la mode. Okay. Okay. Is, there, is there, was it lactose in there? Or? No, no lactose. No, no, no lactose. A la mode meaning, I guess, just the the delivery on the tongue at the end back end. Well, just... a la mode. I mean, actually, the, it's actually from a line from a song from Jethro Tull. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you, <laughs> you guys recognize Jethro Tull, but there are a few. Uh, I know Jethro, but people. I don't. I don't know. I'm not familiar with the song. What song is it? <laughs> is it Aquila? Oh, okay. The, oh, it is from Aquila. Yeah. The oh, only well, thing I... I know about Jethro Tull is they beat out Metallica for that Grammy that one year. Oh God. <laughs> 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 Back when I don't think anybody cared about the Grammys, that, 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 neither of those bands I would think. But okay, uh, right, Nick, so you out for like best hard rock performance or something, and the footage is priceless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, the, the, what we're having, uh, Nick, is a uh, Belgian style beer. It's it's delicious. It, uh, yeah, it's, I'm gonna say it's one of the better ones I've had in a long time. It's very good. It's I really like good. I like the dry like finish. The smell is awesome. I and could drink you, yeah. uh, like literally an entire four pack of Probably, this. Well, and and keep well, you might shouldn't have one clip. No, because it's eight percent. But that's, <laughs> yeah. that's why yeah. I like it too. Yeah, because where's we, flying Belgium? Where, where so are they are. I, I know you probably weren't you know uh, listening into the show. I wasn't so. In. No, no, I know. So remember, because uh, Nick went over to South Shore as well for the grand opening weekend. I went for the soft opening weekend. He went for the grand opening weekend. And uh, you know where Long Beach is over there on, um, uh, what was it, Lawson's Boulevard? 
Yeah. You know what? I didn't go that day. No, I know. Yeah, and I was right there. It I know, but they weren't. They weren't open. They're not open yet. They're not. No, okay. they're not open yet. So you wouldn't have been able to get in, like I wasn't able to get in. Um, but they're they're sharing a brew space. Uh, so Flying Belgian is going to be considered like a guest tap, though all his brewing can be done there because of his prop license. And uh, Long Beach is going to be the kind of like the the main space. But they're going to share right. the space. They're going to like cohabitate and have you know like a fifty fifty split on how many? Taps, yeah, how many? I guess. Yeah, what, what's cool, the, how many cool. taps are you going to have at the? Uh... Uh, you know, I expect to have around eight. Oh, so we're awesome. going to have a lot of okay. taps. We're gonna, you know, almost, that's awesome. That sounds know, like a really cool idea. Of taps, but yeah. we don't consider the a limitation on taps. No, okay, you, you don't have two it. separate tasting rooms, are you? No, we're not one tasting I room. Be, I will be a guest tap there. Okay, so yeah. one we're tasting room. Any, like, so how many? If you have eight, no, probably I, I would like expect 16, to have like sixteen like, or so. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. wow! And do like I, a I, true 50 50 be, split. To me, it's a be beer heaven. Not yeah. because I'm there, but because if I was going someplace, yeah, like, oh, two, sixteen fucking two beers, yeah, two yeah, beers, yeah, yeah. two yeah. in one. Yeah, right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> the bang for your buck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So. And with their lineup between Ghost Wave, between the Shipwreck Black, between the, the Channel Keller, between yeah. I'm trying to think of all the, the ones. Fucking all the pills are the three three thirty four. I'm not a huge pills to use, but that pills is a good pills. It's very clean. Very clean. It's very out of style. Yes. That, yeah, uh, they have a nice, they have a nice uh, menu of beers. So you have those. They're, they're, they're probably end up beer. doing a couple. Yes, the Shorts beer. They're, they're, yeah, that's the, the yeah, Shipwreck Black. Black is. Oh, not, yeah, I absolutely. think is their best beer so, yeah. that I've had so far. Nick, you yeah. had that the other day. We uh, we poured that the first beer at the one. at the sure birthday we can, party. We can have that next. All right, oh, yeah, everything nice. we had there was delicious. The yeah. Yeah. yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. So Nick came over for a birthday party at my house, and that's the first thing I start serving up is the Shipwreck Black. Because it's yeah. and delicious. Then, and then it's after that. It is deceptively double, light, double, too. Yes. It's nice to clean up. Yeah, exactly. And we had a lot of dark beer that night. But this we one did. was, start. we started off with this, and it's light, uh, uh, like heavy-wise, not so much. Um, yeah, it has like that, nice like flavor, roasty. Yes. Yep, it has that, absolutely. like, roasty uh, malted flavor, but it's light. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you that after I brewed this, mm-hmm. right, it's a long day. It's a long day brewing. You're tired. 13, 14 now. hours easily. And then, you know, Dan was, you know, he was finishing this beer off. Okay. So, and I'm like, I got to tell you, Dan, the last thing I would think I would want right now is a dark beer, right? I said, I'm dying for that beer. I wanted that <laughs> beer so bad. I it said, is a craving. I, I, I wasn't ready just yet. I was like, ah, oh. well, I, you know, I would like a, like a, normally I would think maybe a Pilsner, a, a, a light Belgian, a mm-hmm. Wit or something like that. Oh, That'd yeah. be something for me after all that beer, all that work I put in and sweating and but I, I wanted that beer. Yeah, mm. that's that's how good it is. It's a, and it's also I don't want to say uh, goes against type because that doesn't sound right. But it was just so clean and crisp. It quenched my thirst, which I would not expect out of a of a bo- beer with chocolate in it. Yeah, in my mind. Or know? a dark. I've only dark had a beer, I, I've yeah. only had a few black lagers, but every one like I just feel like it's such an unrep- like underrepresented style. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know? Exactly. I had uh, uh, Barrage has one on tap right now. I tried that last week. Again, terrific. have you had his Golden Strong? Yes. I want to have Look that. Look at yeah. like, mm. yeah, I yeah. want to have that. It's good. Which one was it called? It's very good. Because uh, he won silver yes. at the uh, Great American Beer Oh, yes. Uh, correct. Yeah. yeah. That. So I'm like, I, I um, want to get... I, it's I got a really, a really good to get his place, but I want that. I want a lot of his beers, but I want that. As a Belgian he, guy, I want yeah. that beer. Man, he, uh, <laughs> we've had Steve on a bunch of times. Yeah. He's a fucking great dude. He's super yeah. fun to hang out. Yeah. His beers are really goddamn good. I know that not not your style, but like his his IPA lineup Yeah, no, everything... I mean, I'm not a huge IPA. Sometimes I'm sure. like, okay, but I don't, I don't necessarily lean towards it. But you know, I, I love what he does. I love, you know, the, the uniqueness of his yes. beers. The fact that he stands out. Like you, you go to Barrage, you know what you're getting. Right. In my mind, I think that's fantastic. Agreed. I think yep. his beers are fantastic. And I, and I, I I'm a big fan. I, that's... I, I, I hope. I don't know that if he's canning. The uh, Golden Strong, yeah, but yeah. just as a selfish Belgian guy, he should. Belgian he should. Guy, he should. Right, exactly. And yeah. I'm sure he's going to. He's got a I mean, silver yeah, medal. Yeah, want a silver medal. Yeah, he... yeah. But I just uh, conquer and divide. Conquer, then, conquer divide. then divide. Yes. Yeah, he's going to, he's going to make me go to the tap. I don't know if he's canning that, but I saw him at Polo Wine over the last couple of days. He was a uh, barrage. I was surprised to see him there. But uh, yeah, a lot of the smaller guys, even Bridge and Tunnel now, uh, they're getting with these distributors now. I guess, yeah. and uh, they're getting out there. I've been seeing the cans distributed a little more widely now. Well, that's it. I mean, people now you got malt man that can come in and can your shit in like you know two hours. Oh, yeah, but it's in and out. Yeah. Um, the pricing is right because yeah. they're moving on and doing three or four brews a day. 
Uh, they pretty much have a lock on the market. And then you got yourself a pallet of beer ready to go, and, and you can do with it what you're going to need to do with it. Yeah, Distribution, help, yeah, right. distro help. through uh, you know, bars and restaurants. You can do your own independent you know, distro. So yeah. you know, that's, that's a big deal nowadays with the technology and how fast they can. And, and they're spot on. I mean, you might get one or two here and there, yeah. but from the amount that they produce and within that short amount of time, you got a solid product. Yeah. They're trustworthy. They're loyal, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, Nick, so you had, um, not, I wasn't forgetting his name. I was just re- trying to remember <laughs> what I wanted to ask him. He's, He's only my talk. friend for Get like the last 20 check. years. Get back on track. Yeah, no, no. I, what I was saying is, so you saw, did yes, you see Steve yes, at Total Wine? Were they giving uh, samples out at Total Wine, no, or you just no, saw no, them on the no, shelf? I mean, I just saw the cans. I just saw the cans there. What do you have, uh, uh, Salt and Fudgery? I went out, actually, I went there on Black Friday, and that place was empty. So I went to Best Buy, and that place was mobbed. And I looked <laughs> yeah. on my phone, and I said, yeah, oh, the price that. for the TV, the so line was wrapped on the store. I said, the price for the TV on the, on the, on the internet is the same price I'm going to wait online for. So I ordered it. And, and then went uh, and drank. Online. And then I went across the way to Total Wine, and I perused for a while. It's like a goddamn candy store, isn't it, bro? It It was. Nobody was there. It was like, it's all all for me. I would think they would be, well, (laughs) I don't know if they're legally they can do, like, Black Friday sales or something. Oh, man. They they get pretty good prices as it is. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much margin they have. Yeah, they don't do, it's not too bad. Like, I'm going to say... For some of the distributors that we have near us, there are some that are, you know, a dollar or two higher for a four pack and some that are like, uh, we'll say reasonably priced. Mm-hmm. And then there's some where the reason why it's $12 the four pack is because it's from last year. Yeah. So yeah. you got to find out what you want. Um, and then, of course, you kind of try to go back to that same one because then you're going to replenish and get the freshest and, and make sure that you continue doing that process. So as you rotate, what you're taking, they're going to replace it with something else, and it's hopefully something you like. And yeah. then a lot of these guys, uh, as you may know, and even with Long Beach, uh, the guys over by us in Lindenhurst, um, you know, regularly keep them on uh, on rotation. Whatever they have new, they're getting in within that week. Yeah. And then I get a text, and Pete gets a text saying, we just dropped off shit at uh, some guy's beer and soda in Lindenhurst. Nice Go get it. Yeah. yeah. Mike's does a great job, and then yeah. he, has, he also takes the time with almost every – customer comes in there yeah, nice and talks to them about what's new, yeah. what's good. He's drank it. Uh, yeah. I'm going to give you and his palate is relative to mine. Like he likes his IPAs, but he also likes a lot of the, you know, the Belgian, he likes lo- he likes all the the radical beers which I really do like too. The Belgian's not a radical beer, but the black lager is definitely radical. The uh there's a beer distributor by my house and the the guy who owns it doesn't doesn't drink beer, doesn't like beer. No, oh, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like, oh, all right. That's how you make your money. You don't drink, don't mess with your own supply. It's like I, going I, to a, I guess, but. It's like going to a bartender. What do you recommend? Uh, water. Yeah, I, I don't drink beer. I'm actually beer. recovering. <laughs> <laughs> it, that doesn't make much sense. Come on. Wasn't that Sam alone? Yeah. Yeah, Dave, it could. Yeah. That's crazy. But no, that's, that's why I like going to some so guys. Cool. Yeah. Serious. And, you, you know, get a good recommendation from right. somebody who's. Something that came in new like that yeah. week. He knows yeah. what's yeah. working and what's that. Have you tried this? Have you done that? What do you like from them? You might like this if you like that. Yeah. He takes the time to you know, kind of sit with you and do that. Um, and not that nobody else does, but I know locally that's, uh, again, a small business that I know that does the right thing by all the people that come in there. The selection's really good. And the selection's good, yeah. 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 He does a good job on the same thing like Mark. He does try to keep a good variation of stuff on yeah. the shelf. So anyone that comes in that's looking for, I want a Belgian, he, he knows exactly where to find it. It's yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. You go f- right to that spot. Um, Nick, uh, so you, you're, I know you have uh, a bunch of breweries by you. What is your local distributor? If you didn't have a brewery open, where would you go to get the beer that you're looking for? So funny you ask. Recently, uh, so I've been going to one that's about a half mile Such away. Such a showman. Walk there. But uh, recently I've been going to another place, mm-hmm. and they have quite the selection. And uh, they're over on uh, Northern Boulevard in Flushing over there by uh, 160, 164th Street over there, roundabout. Okay. There's not too many distributors around here. So, right. Uh, but it's right there by the Broadway stop on the LIRR Paul Washington line. And they have a great selection of Queens breweries there. They okay. have a nice showing of Long Island stuff, but uh, a lot of stuff from Brooklyn and Queens. They have uh, they have Finback in there. They have McKellar's. They have all the good, all the all the good local Queens and Brooklyn stuff they have in there, which 
uh, this has been a nice find of mine. So I've been frequenting them recently. And, and nice you're place. keeping their beer rotating through the shelves, so it definitely helps to have you going in there. Oh, yeah, no, Grabbing yeah, a four yeah, here and there. But, and but actually, funny enough, I had the Dogfish Head. I don't know, this uh, Grateful hmm. Dead collaboration. Did yeah, you yeah. That? Yep. Yeah, that one. I've been drinking that one out of there recently. And, uh, but, uh, I yeah, actually, yeah, and I, on the wrench and Industrial Arts. Industrial Arts. Mm. I, you know, I've been going to the uh, Old Reliables. Industrial Arts is really good stuff. They've done some great, uh, you know, the IPAs are good, but they have a uh, good Pilsner, and yeah. they've been producing good sours oh, over this last summer. Oh, my God. The Finback Crispy Boy. <laughs> you have a chance. So yeah. Yeah, Maddie's birthday was over the weekend, too. Yes. So we went into Long Island City, so we went over to Big Alice, but we also went to John Brown Smokehouse, mm. and John Brown Smokehouse is in the neighborhood. It's in between Big Alice Pete and just got a boner, just so you know. Just so you know. Oh, let me tell you something. We had the pork belly and brisket. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I do yeah. love a good smoked meat. There's a bar right in there. So it's communal <laughs> dining. They have like all the tables there, but in the back there, by the communal dining, they have a separate bar. Okay. Uh, and uh, they had a quite the, oh, an amazing craft selection there. And they had three Finbacks there. And one of them, which I had at the brewery, was Crispy Boy. Okay. So if you have a chance That's to get Crispy Boy. That's actually the name of the beer? Boy, yeah. It's Crispy yeah. Boy? Yeah. And what, uh, yeah. what style is it? It's a pill. And nice. out of this world, really good stuff. Yeah, really good. You gotta try that. That's really good stuff. If I see uh, it on the shelf uh, at our local fine fair, who does Did bring you? in a lot of the queen? No, if I do, I'll grab it. I'll see what it. I'll grab it. Dude. Grab it. I'll try to grab it next time. That's an interesting one. I, I like a good pills. I look at good dry pills. Like yeah. I said, it's good. I'm not. A, it's as far as styles go, it's not definitely not my favorite. You but. know what I like it with. Uh, uh, nice cheeseburger, juicy mm. cheeseburger. That, if not so much pizza, because I people would say pills and pizza. I don't know, yeah. but that that's that that's my pairing. Yeah, the pizza will burger. Start, the pizza will uh, the acidity wash out the the pills there. So yeah, there's no. too much in the pizza for yeah, the pills yeah, yeah, to stand the, up to it. Acidity from the tomatoes. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What I almost picked up at Total Wine was uh, Gun Hill. Gun Hill has a collaboration yes. with KCBC called uh, Get uh, Get Tied. T H A I D. It, but it's uh, it's amazing. It's like a rice lager, I think. It's really great too. I love rice all the lager. rice stuff. Mm. Like the rice IPA that I brought out from Finback was really delicious. I got this rice lager is really good too. I, I gotta try some more gotta stuff be super from dry. dry. Yeah, that's like over the top. Could yeah. you use rice in I, a Belgian style? I certainly could. Yeah, I certainly could. I, I mean, I have I, I I've given it. I guess. A little bit of thought, not not enough thought to think I'm really going to do it soon. Yeah, but I might in the future. I was going to say once you get in there, dry, and you got you know, it, it, if you got eight taps, you're going to look for variants to kind of mess around with to see, yeah, you know, you know what yeah, sticks well, and what you know, doesn't. Eight taps are going to give me the flexibility to do things that I don't know that I can put on a shelf like a quad. Mm. quad. Or maybe yeah. I could put a quad on the shelf, but you know, it's a little well, bit more. Well, if, if you put it on tap, then you know yeah, you what the demand. Bit, you get yeah. a little more demand. Are people interested? You know, I do find it's interesting. Uh, I do find people like the high alcohol. Of course, yeah. You know, which oh, yeah. I never know, and then yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it, because I, you know, what is, and and I, I don't want to speak for Pete, but like, I could tell over the last two or three years, I definitely gained weight from drinking, and I'm not a big guy, but I definitely gain, and I, I don't do as much exercise as I want to. So what I'm looking for now a days is give me like one or two beers. And I'm good. Yeah. As opposed to what I used to do, which was four or five or six. Got it. To yep. get to that same point. Yeah. Sixteen ounce cans helps. Eight percent or higher helps. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking for that stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't have to you drink as much. Hundred fifty proof there, Mike. You well, I don't give a shit about the hundred. <laughs> what happened? That? You can't pull that straight. Uh oh. Hold on, Nick. We just had trouble walking the door. Let me. Uh... Just had trouble. Walking. <laughs> this trouble just walked in. <laughs> walked in and shut the fucking door. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He just looked, gave a dirty look, and then that was it. Oh, it's it's definitely buzzing in there, buddy. I apologize. I gotta keep him down anyway. Um, so listen, uh, again, Nick, uh, I'm gonna hang up on you because we got grass. No, I want to talk to ahead, Nick. Bro. Where's oh, Nick? Oh, jeez, what are you doing here? Talk to Grass. Why? Why? Me and Grass can't be on the air at the same time. Because we're because we're explode. Radio Gold, Nicky Nucks. Uh, you know that. His head will explode. The heads will explode. What's going on? You know, listen, <laughs> I was I, I was enjoying the work. D Train and, and Nikki Nux over at Nassau Coliseum. Oh, you were listening back to that show? Oh, that thing was great. That was probably the best part of the segment. And then and you guys talking to Santa Claus was really good. Dude, so uh, well, that guy was creeping me the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> he was too good. He was really good. 
That was his wife scary. called him, and it he has her on his Mrs. Claus in the caller ID. He's yes. got a license he showed me that said Santa Claus. And was it a real? He legitimately thinks he's Santa Claus. That guy. And he's friends with the daytime show, and I guess they're good friends. And I'm like, all right, you could. Oh, I, really? I didn't even know there was yeah, a not someone there. I would want to spend more time with. I'll be no, honest. Huh? No, huh? <laughs> no. He's getting all sorts of. <laughs> A fucking Me Too vibes from that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no, you're blocking the chimney on him, man. Oh, wow. He, did, he, had like a, he had like a slight smell to him, so I'm sitting there, I'm going... Well, we were at a beer fest. Yeah, but I, I'm like, does Santa Claus smell like ass a little bit? No. <laughs> <laughs> that sweaty ass has probably been in that suit for how long? Yeah, really. I mean, how often does Mrs. Claus actually do the dry cleaning? <laughs> no, he was in the, right. Get some swamp ass going on. You gotta be nice. We don't want to get any folk calls tomorrow. All right, don't be disparaging Santa Claus. Yeah, well, not y'all. It's true. If yeah. anyone on this on this platform was going to do it, it would be me. Yeah, I think, I think we all know that. Miserable <laughs> that Marvin. Is true. That is That's best. Right. That's right. All right. First of all, yes. flying Belgium. What is his first Belgian. name? Again? Belgian. Belgian. Yes. Hi. Everybody Hi. does that. All right. By the way, everybody leans um, towards Belgium. Yeah, I know. I, I've been I've been making a conscious oh, effort. God, I love that. To not I try to say it tonight. Bel- yeah. Flying Belgian. Yes. I'm not trying to be. Okay. What's your first name? I'm Lou. Lou. Kevin. Ooh. Kevin, hi. Close. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, what's your favorite baseball team? Uh, the Mets. Oh, good. I can't, hey, there we I go. I can't make fun of you now. All right. Yeah, well, Shit. you can because I'm a Mets fan. No, you know. it's all right. <laughs> so is grass. <laughs> yeah, so am I. Are you an Oceanside? Yes, we are. I used to live off, live off of Widener Avenue, the houseboats on Widener Avenue. Over you used to live in a houseboat? Yeah, I used to live in a houseboat. Holy over shit. by the famous deli that's on, um, oh, God. Uh, you, are you familiar with Widener Avenue? You ever heard of it? I've heard of it, but I don't know. I'm learning Oceanside more and more as I drive there every day now. How long have you been there? Well, we've actually been in the space now for almost three years. Jesus. You got to really? your yes, way around yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, 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 but, but yeah, it's a long story. All right. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I found many time. ways to I've get to the time. brewery. <laughs> now I go there, like I said, almost well, almost every day. Yeah? But, yeah. Is it a brewery? Now, I, I wasn't listening because I had my client in the back of the car, and I don't mean to make you repeat. Did you, ki- did you kidnap this They're one? They're in the same building as uh, Long Beach. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, so Dan, it's double, Brett, It's Pat. a double dose? Yes. Oh, I love threesomes. <laughs> It's kind of like, well, like well, how'd, you, wait, wait, how'd you get threesomes out of double? Yeah. You're not involved. You forgot about <laughs> me. <laughs> you forgot about me. Got you on that one. Kevin wants to be very clear. Yeah, exactly. Kevin, you, forgot yeah, about, yeah. you forgot about me. I'm getting I'm the Santa th- Claus vibe <laughs> off of you. <laughs> but no. That's not very nice. Uh, I know. I'm sorry. You got you on that one. Do you listen to this show? <laughs> I've listened a little bit. All right. Well, go. I'm the comedic talent here. So oh, I'm sorry about that. That's two years now. No, that was not. That was not. I'm sorry that I encroached. That was a sorry I encroached. It was not. No, that was. Was a, that was an honest yeah, reaction honest to a statement. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> it was like, want, oh, I'm know. so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change this. I just want to say we're drinking the black lager <laughs> from <laughs> Long Beach, and it's fantastic. Can I have some of that? Because that's yes, why I yes, come yeah. here. I come yeah, to drink come the beer. The there's, here, come, yeah, there's a good uh, quarter left of this. Yeah. Well, Mike, Mike what? have you informed them about Graz on radio and Anthony in person? Uh, yeah, we're vastly gonna, different. Yeah, we're gonna, no, we're going to take a quick break because I really need – you're going to take that beer. We're going to take a quick break because I have to pee again. Um, and I drank a crap ton of this flying Belgian. Uh, I want to just wrap up with Nikki Nux on the phone. Buddy, uh, so again, I want to thank you for all your uh, hard work, your dedication, your time to the show. And uh, we anticipate having some uh, you know, great times here in 2020, and we're going to try to take this yeah. to the next level, buddy. It's going to all be clear. It's all going to be clear. It's all going to come clear yeah. in Nick, they're going to do special advisors. Me and you are going out to Colorado to do a special show out well, there. Well, this, oh, this, this all it, might happen. Friend. I'm going to let you know oh, that we that do have a connection awesome. for good. GABF and the ability to broadcast live from GABF. Have fun. Uh, yeah, I did. Pete's not going to be able to go. <laughs> so that, if Pete can't go, that, 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 that means no. I'm 1A. Yes. So that's, no, no, Nick is 1A. I, I'm 1AA. One, I'm you're 1AA, yeah, that's sure. That's right. Like we're, not gonna kidnap Pete? we're not going to kidnap him? Like, we, we could we kidnap, kidnap him, but uh, I, don't, I don't think I'd want to live with him after we kidnapped him. Oh, my God, this beer's uh, fantastic. Well, we'll just yes, very good. <laughs> All right, let's take a quick break. We'll regroup. Nick, thanks again, buddy. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you in 2020. Enjoy the new year, buddy. Uh, enjoy the show, guys. Nikki, give me a call on Thursday night. I got three more shows. If you're around, give me a call. <laughs> Gotta <to> fill time. <laughs> I remember, I will, listen, if I remember, I will, brother. Same line, same number? Yeah, same yeah, thing. Same, same line, same that, number. I don't care if you're drunk. Channel. I don't care if you're naked, banging a girl from behind. Call All me. All right.
Uh, well, I'll send you the videos. Now the seems videos. like a great time to take a break. <laughs> yeah, tell Maddie we wish her a happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and hope, you hope she likes it from behind. Oh. Uh, All right. Every way, every Pete way. took his headphones <laughs> off. <laughs> guys took his headphones <laughs> off. It's the word with Mikey Pete. Goes radio.com. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> You're listening to Govs Radio, internet radio versus whatever that alien shit is. Whose idea was this anyway? Govs Radio. <laughs> You're listening to The Wart on Govs Radio. Hey, uh, moron, it's pronounced The Wart. What the hell is a wart? It's pronounced The Wart. What is it? The Wart? Right, yeah, okay, I'll do that again. This is the wart on Govs Radio. It is the wart, not wart, not fort, not short, the wart. I'm sorry, I just don't know what that means. When do you guys start drinking? Who says we haven't been drinking? Where's mine? If I say it correctly this time, can I have a drink? Uh, we'll think about it. You're listening to the wart on Govs Radio. Oh, we're back. This is where Mikey Pete comes radio.com. The phone number here, 516-465-3990, 516-513-0515. We are live here at Governor's Comedy Club in Levittown, Long Island. And, of course, in studio with us, our guest, Kevin, from Flying Belgian Brewery. And really quick before we uh, move on here, we do have a phone call. I wanted to take this because it's uh, someone uh, apparently we talked to before, but I don't remember it. And I want to reconnect with my friend Joe here. Joe, uh, what's going on, buddy? How are you? How are you today? Very good. Uh, Joe, what brewery are you from? Uh, Brainboro Brewing. Brain, that's New Jersey. right. And we... Brainboro. We, Brainboro. I think we met, at the, we met at the AC Beer Fest. Yes. Um, and, and we had yeah, a, a short discussion. I don't know if we had you come on our official segment, but you and I kind of hung out for a little bit with uh, my co-host and uh, talked, talked shop a little bit and found out what was going on bit. with you. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, quick question. <laughs> are you going to be at AC Beer Fest here in 2020? We are gonna nice. Be there. We're gonna have to have you on the show, Joe. I love that. Uh, I love every welcome. bit of being at AC Beer Fest, and, and <laughs> particularly because of this. There were so many by. breweries there that I've never heard of, that I've it's never tasted. Of. It's like including a whole us. new, yeah, including you, a, 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 yeah. a whole new world. It's like you know, it's one of those things where you just go and you're like, "Where did this come from?" And how, it's, cool. it's it's a few hours it's away. Crazy. When it's you were singing that song, now. were you Jasmine or Aladdin? A whole new head. world. I, I'm going to go with. I was the the tiger still on the balcony, left behind. Yes. <laughs> sorry, Grass. You know, you know, sorry, Grass. I know a little too much about that movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have kids. We just got the Disney Plus app. I had to watch there it. Recently. What yeah, are you going to do? Been there, done that. <laughs> what was the bird? What was the bird's name again? Iago. He's my Iago. favorite character. That's Iago. Favorite. Yeah, I can't even do that. Gilbert I can't, Godfrey. I can't Come do on, Gilbert Godfrey. Like I try to. You gotta. You gotta hit Get your switch. Button. Your switch is is the oh, off. There you he go. Said Gilbert Godfrey every Thursday night on Limo Talk. There you man. go. He is. <laughs> Bobby Inns does a great Gilbert Godfrey impression. That's why. Uh, so, Joe, uh, give me give me a quick rundown of the brewery and everything again. Um, you know where you guys are located, and uh, like, you know, give me a little uh, what's on tap right now. Okay, so right now we just had our uh, first year anniversary. Um, so uh, that went pretty well. Uh, we had a good turnout. Uh, why right. weren't we invited? Well, why weren't we invited, Joe? Joe, By the way, uh, Joe, we're supposed to be invited to Joe. these anniversary type of deals, these these really good things. <laughs> well, listen, grand opening, you know what wait. I mean, stuff like that. I, this we're is having Anthony. a second year anniversary Ooh. next year around this time. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Joe, don't be a smart ass. I'll cut your ass off in two seconds. Don't be Joe, a prick. That's that's Anthony Graz today, host of Limo Talk Podcast here on GovsRadio.com, Just so you know, right. you can call his show on Thursday night uh, around after nine o'clock on the same phone number if you want and bust his balls all night. <laughs> 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 you know you want to. Um, yeah, yeah, so so, uh, so you're on yeah, one year, the, and I remember just yeah. really quick uh, you, how new you were. That's that's what I remembered how how uh, early on it was when we got to talk to you. So uh, pretty cool. We yeah we were so new. Uh, AC Beer Fest was our official uh, first uh, beer fest. So we're like, ah, you know what? Let's throw caution to the wind. Let's go to the, you know, the biggest one around. Fuck and, it, throw uh, it all out there. Start small. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like we, it. That's a caution. We throw really small. Show. <laughs> and I think that pays off for everybody when you're nice and cautious like that. So, <laughs> that your well executed, sir. Joe, Joe, is it met your expectations? Yeah, did it meet expectations, Joe? Sorry, guys. I, it was sure, crackling. Sure, yeah, he's a little low on, on 
this time. You hear me uh, now? Sure. Yes. You hear me yeah. now? Yeah. Uh, I've been to the AC, AC Beer Fest many times before. But well, I mean, you, I mean being in business when you started, has it met your expectations now where you're at? Oh. Or you, uh, sh- yeah. So uh, our plan was, so let's go a year. Let's see where we're at and uh, see if there's a, uh, a want, a need, a desire, a, a following, anything, you know? Right. And uh, we, we've been pretty well received uh, so far over, uh, over the course of a year. Now, um, now again, we're small. Um, we basically have a tap room. Um, it's at the Harpcade. It's a 15 station place in Metuchen. It's uh, Haley's Harpcade. Um, what, what, what does that uh, mean? I, I'm 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 confused on the name. Is is it a so? It's an arcade, right? It's an it's, arcade. It's a, it's a Harpcade. So okay. it's a play on. Thank you. Uh, it's a it's a retro arcade. Okay. So front of the house on Main Street is Haley's Pub. Okay. Right. Uh, they also own Haley's Harpcade in the back. So it's a retro arcade. Huh. Sounds uh, like pinball machines. Like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand up games, Space pinball invaders. machines, all that stuff. So uh, yeah. you know, uh, a lot of times if you go there on Saturday, there's a lot of fathers just sitting at the bar and, their and kids so just, you can play you know, retro video games while you drink your beer. Yeah, like barcade in the city. Have you been? The, have you been to barcade no. in the city? You got to go to barcade. In the I, city. I have been to barcade. Yeah, actually. it's uh, there's a couple in locations in New York City. city. Sure. Yeah, very yeah, cool concept. Sure. And they they're very I mean, good on putting on a lot of local craft beer, yeah, and then you can walk around them and play video games all day. While yeah, I don't think beer. I, yes. I, was, <laughs> I, I vaguely walked out of there last time I was there. So Yes. So yeah, we, uh, I agree. We had a good time. Yes. <laughs> it's one of those places where you do kind of stumble out, and you're like, what the fuck just happened? I just played video games two hours, and I'm hammered. How did you get the Pretty concept of a, bar, of a bar in the front and an arcade in the back? How did that happen? It's kind of like the mullet of beer. Um, right. so party in the front. So the space, <laughs> the front, uh, they, they wanted the to do something different in the back, and uh, so they decided, hey, let's throw some video games in there and see what happens. Right. Originally, it's a retro arcade, so they went with retro beers, um, mm. just all the old style of beers in, in uh, cans and bottles and stuff like that. Right. They had zero taps. So then we came along and said, hey, what if we put uh, you know some taps in here and uh, see what mm. we could do or whatever? And they said, okay, that yeah, sounds things great. That can, that um, things that make sense. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so we have six. We have six taps in there right now, um, with room for maybe one or two more, uh, I suppose. Okay. But, um, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's going pretty good. All right, that's pretty cool. It sounds like a good time. Oh, it definitely is. It definitely is. Like I said, uh, you know, you, uh, a lot of people they just pop in and bring. They can bring their kids. The kids are only allowed there until eight o'clock at night. Right, but, right, right. Uh, after that, it's. Uh, uh, adults only, I suppose. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what? Uh, so, not, what do you? What do you have? Kind of what do you have on tap right now? What's? Uh... So, so right now we have our uh, we have American wheat. We have uh, an amber uh, with a slight smoky uh, bite to it. There's a uh, there's an amber with a touch of rye. That's our harvest. Uh, there's the uh, there's the jalapeno, which is a jalapeno pale ale. I mean, I'm wow. sorry, a jalapeno I- IPA. Mm-hmm. Um, What's the what highest APR there, uh, you got? What's that? What's the highest APR? Well, I know it's not APR. Depends <laughs> on your credit. <laughs> Depends <laughs> on your credit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know how, many how long the loan is. Uh, uh, I think it's 4.3%, I think. How much? Right how much? No, no, you say APR. Five <laughs> points above prime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so we, just, we actually, uh, yeah. <laughs> market value, market value. Yeah, um, we just came out with a uh, our first, our biggest beer so far. It's a nine percent uh, double IPA. It's an imperial. Um, it's uh, you know, it's hazy, it's juicy. It's you know, it's a. Uh, it's, it's everything everybody much wants. Every, pretty much, yeah, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Are you and on then, Instagram, uh, very, Joe? Very tasty. Doesn't taste like nine. So I mean, you know. Joe, you on Instagram? Yes, I am. What is it? Uh, it's a uh, brainy bro. Oh no, you oh, personally. Yeah. Sorry, God, yeah, yeah, personally, yeah. God. Uh, go uh, brainy bro bruco. Yeah. Brain bro. Brainy brainy bro bruco. Brainy bro bruco. Yeah, if you just brainy type in brainy or company, uh, brainy bro brewing, type in anything like that, you'll get there. Yeah, it'll as soon as you type in brainy, it should pop right up. Brainy, yeah, or something. Uh, like brainy brown sugar comes up, and I don't think, <laughs> and I don't think it's <laughs> beer. That might be a little something different. There you go. <laughs> Actually, now I'm going to look that out. Brainy brown sugar. Yes. Uh, can you send that link to me? Yes. I'll send. <laughs> <laughs> On it, Joe. You got it. Coming right at you. So, Brainy yeah, brown I got my Instagram now. 
Yeah, what were we saying? Joe, Joe, your 15 station place, Metuchen, New Jersey. Yes, that's him. Th- that is us. Yeah. Yep. What are your hours? We're, I want to come there one day. When, I go. To, I go to, so I go to, Monday. Monday we're closed. Uh, every other night they're open till uh, 10 o'clock most nights and midnight on the weekends. Okay. So you're Mondays, usually doing Monday. your brew days at like Tuesday, uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, stuff like that. But we don't. No, we don't brew there. See, that's just tap room. Oh, so our wow. our con our concept. What we do is we are we're contract brewers. Ah, okay. So. Yeah. So currently, right now, we're working with two uh, two brewers uh, locally. Uh, one's Dark City, and one is Jug Handle. Brewery. Oh yeah, we definitely uh, talked to um, I forget his name from Dark City. Um, Steve. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Jared. Yeah, may, that sounds more like it. Um, yeah. They he was at AC Beer Fest as well, and he came on the yes. show. Uh, great dude. Yeah. Uh, brought us a, a shit ton of beer, and I've been to the brewery down in uh, Dark City, and not a huge place. So it's amazing that they actually have the room to do contracting. It's it's not a, it, no it's not a big place. Um, we, we I don't know, I don't want to say we out we outgrew him, um, <laughs> but uh, we definitely we definitely shopped around and um, hooked up with Pete from Jug Handle. Yeah, who uh, who's a fantastic guy. Um, uh, pretty much. Oh, Pete, a fantastic uh, guy. How does it feel, Pete? I'm not. Yeah, he's just, yeah. <laughs> Pete, Pete, how you feeling? No, yeah. Pete's um, not a not happy guy right now. It's yeah. the holidays. Yeah. He's miserable. Uh, here he goes trying to pull, t- pull, t- pull on the strings uh, Joe, a little bit. Uh, Joe, when you get off the phone, by the time we get out of here tonight, there's a $150 Christmas tree story you got to hear. <laughs> it's going to happen, Pete. Joe, it's gonna on happen. October 20th, were you one of the judges for the Brainy Burrow Chili Challenge? I was, yeah. Are you yeah. Joseph Nunn's? That's me, yeah. You're very attractive. I'm touching, <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta... I'm touching myself right oh, now. Oh, uh, Christ. I'm going to turn him off. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's not that kind of show. Well, I'm kidding. I'm Definitely kidding. get him my number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe, you fit right in here. <laughs> yeah. We're going to hang out at AC Beer Fest a lot. Joe, that's I a was, very I attractive sweatshirt you have there. Why don't you send... Was great, Joe, yeah, there that's you go. a very attractive sweatshirt you have there. Why don't you send... All right. You, why don't you send Graz one and we'll promo it on Limo Talk? What's your favorite kind of chili, Joe? Yeah. What yeah. Do, you, do you like uh, yeah. chicken chili, turkey chili, beef chili, steak chili? Meat. Veal. Meat. Just meat, throw meat in there. There's yeah, a lot of go. veggie chili out there. Yeah. Okay, but. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that veggie I, shit. Well, <laughs> I shouldn't say that my wife's vegetarian. Well, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> of course. That's why you love her so much. She's the opposite of you. I'm available. Uh, oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yin and yang. Wait, okay. Joe. So uh, we, we have uh, Kevin from Flying Belgian Brewing uh, Company here in the studio with you. Um, Excellent. Yeah, and so I, we were just talking to him early in the show about contracting. So give us the, the ups and downs about contracting. Do you have any reservations, or is has it yeah, been a smooth I, process? Somewhat, yeah. So how it works is um, I'm a home brewer by, uh, I don't know, by hobby, I guess. So I've been brewing for probably over 10, 11 years now. Um, so what we do is design the beer, mm-hmm. uh, send the recipe, um, we were sending the recipe to Dark City. He would brew the beer, hmm. and then, then we have the beer. Um, Jug handles a little different. I actually go down and hands-on brew the beer with a full-time brewer. Now, was that um, your is, choice, or was that their request? Uh, that's that was an opportunity really, okay. for me. So, okay. I mean, if somebody says, "Hey, uh, you know, you want to come brew with us?" Yeah, you go, you go brew. I mean, it's all knowledge. So it's it's definitely it's exactly what I do mm-hmm. um, here. But it's it's just on a larger scale, bigger pumps, bigger poses. You know, um, you're basically cleaning the whole time. That's just yeah. that's well, how it is. No kidding, huh, <laughs> Kev? <laughs> just not, you're a glorified yeah. janitor. Yeah, so, you know, the line is yeah, if you like yeah, dishwashing, yeah, you love brewing. Um, <laughs> is that normal, Mike? Mike, is that normal? Is yes. That normal? Oh, absolutely. Because I went to the place by you that yeah. you recommended. What yes. was it? What's the name of that? The small little place in. Uh, in Amityville? Yeah, no. You were recommended by your house, by Lyndon Hirsch. Right? Oh, at 27A. 27A. Well, he's got a very small setup. He's got a one-barrel system. Yeah, but all he was doing was cleaning. Well, that's, of course. I mean, even that one-barrel system needs to constantly be sanitized yeah. and uh, maintained. And, and now imagine uh, a 60, a 30, uh, you know, barrel system where What's the biggest got... brewery? That, I don't know. I mean, it's legitimately. What's yeah. That, what's what the is the The guys we deal with are seven. So just handle darks. There's seven barrels. Oh, see, so yeah, I that's, mean, uh, and, that's, and like, that's that's like fourteen half cakes. Right. Um, yeah. It's know. still pretty big, though. I mean, that's still a lot of. It's a lot. It's, you know. it's a lot of beer, and that was our that was our only thing. We said, okay, so great, we got a place to serve beer. Um, we're going to do a seven barrel run. Mm-hmm. Uh, are we going to go through seven barrels? 
Yeah, we'll go through seven barrels. Um, we're not distributing right now. We may uh, in the future. Uh, there may be cans in the future. Right. Um, malt, but, ma- uh, malt man yeah. will go down to New Jersey, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> they are yeah, very – Ironheart is around there. Yeah, they, the yeah. Place, yeah. Ironheart. Full up yeah. East, East Coast, yeah, 100%. But, um, yeah, so the, up, the ups and downs are uh, maybe uh, – Sometimes it's not exactly what I present or something. Uh, I always hope it's better. Mm-hmm. It comes out better than what I present. But definitely, there's you know there's different ingredients. There's different some some brewers only use certain things and stuff, and that's fine. We 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 work with that. And right. That's um, that's fine. In the end, it's beer. Um, right, right. And there's there's, there's no the better end, thing. In the end, <laughs> I'm drinking the shit out of it, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. That's it. That's it. Um, Do you? I but, mean, uh, so far so far it's been a, it's been Pretty good, yeah. pretty good. But you know, there's a lot of you know people involved or whatever. But um, that's uh, that that's our approach. Yeah. So how it, much it, of it, that uh, you know contract you have to do to supply the tasting room? Um, everything goes to the tasting room. That's right. the only place. That's the only place where we're selling it right so now. So is it a so right constant now, like schedule that has to be met every single week and just constant back and forth? How far away is the is Jug Handle? Jug Handle's thirty minutes. Dark right. City's maybe. 40 minutes. But still, um, so it's, it's still it's, a, it's, a good hike back and forth each and every day to make sure, you know, that, the, the, uh, you know, things are met and uh, requirements are made and, you know, things are on the yeah. up and ups to get to the next, you know, hours of operation from, uh, what, Thursday through Sunday? Thursday through Sunday, yeah. yeah. Or uh, oh, Tuesday, Tuesday through Sunday. Oh, so you're even, oh, wow. Yeah, oh, yeah. So the place, is, except Monday. Monday's closed. Um, we have a... Uh, uh, for Brain Bro Brewing, we have a meeting, mm-hmm. uh, like a club concept um, that we have. So you could be a Brain oh, Bro okay. member. Uh, you come in, you try new beers. Kind of like the mug uh, club yeah, concept. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, basically, I always like to call the guys guinea pigs. Like, oh, you're a guinea pig. You're going to come in, you're going to try something. Mm-hmm. Oh, you like it? Cool. You don't like it? Okay. Let's see what we could do. Um, we had a stout uh, this last meeting, and now we brewed the stout. Mm. So they, they helped approve it. Okay, so it's part of the process in which you guys are basically market testing everything that that you're trying out, new things, things that you know work, you keep on, things that you're trying out, you're gonna test through them. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, we would we would love to get on uh, different types of beers, uh, a lot of different types of beers. We only have six taps, so we really have to right. kind of, kind of keep those beers pretty. Uh, I don't want to say lean, but. Uh, Drinkable, but yeah, in, you know, a, like, yeah, in a way, I, I like, extreme. Like I like, yes. I like sours, but not everybody likes sours. Mm-hmm. So, you know, would we want to do a, like a seven barrel run of a sour? I don't know. At you the know? right time of year, maybe it would work out just fine. Uh, it's an up and coming style. A lot of people are getting turned on. Yeah. 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 Would you ever oh, consider? Def- is there a sour Belgian? Is there a sour saison? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, sour Some that you, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I've, the, the, there's, there, there are those. What I consider, I will consider. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to go with the sours. Yeah, there's but it's definitely something you're going to have to really think about. I'll or, think about it. I'll yeah. think about it, and it fits we'll right that, in the brand. Yeah, well, yeah. Is there well, physical space point. for anything you know, barrel? Some people like it. Some people don't. So, um, uh, there probably is. Yeah, there probably is. There's a lot of things I haven't given any thought to, other than yeah, something I have to think about in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I would that that I feel like even more than the sours. I feel like would be something on brand for for a Belgian style. They both. Uh, actually, the, the sours are more on brand yeah. than the barrel. Not yeah. not that the barrels are not on brand. Right. Like, you know, a West Coast IPA to me is not on brand. No, <laughs> right? yeah, 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 but a sour yeah. is no. on brand. I mean, the Belgians. You know, there's a lot yeah. of. So, uh, so Joe, uh, Flying Belgian does uh, primarily Belgian style beers, uh, yes. and so we're just you know thinking about variants that would go well with the the on brand. Super dry. Yeah. Um, and so we're having um, it's uh, uh, Salvation a la Mode, which is a Belgian style. It's eight percent, or it's it's made with one hundred percent New York ingredients. Uh, eighty percent. Eighty percent. I, tr- I would do a hundred. I I try to do everything as local as possible, yeah. uh, but I just couldn't find a few of the adjuncts. And normally when farm, we talk to... Uh, farm license, I presume? With the, yeah. 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 Farm license. And, and Joe, normally when we talk to people in New York, we always got to find out whether they hold a license that requires them to use a certain amount of, you know, locally grown um, hops, locally grown grain. Do you guys have something similar down in New Jersey yet? Uh, is that still up and coming? Or are they trying to push these so. regulations? I think th- that was... Um, 
uh, what law was that? That's kind of like if you were a, a farmer in New Jersey mm-hmm. and you grow all the ingredients, then you could sell that product at a farmer's market. Mm-hmm. I believe that's what it is because ah, you grew okay, so everything. It's, yeah, it's a little it's different. Yeah, something, yeah, something like that. But it, um, as far as like beer having ingredients, to, yeah, having to use local ingredients. I mean, we we we'll try to use local ingredients all the time, whatever, right. wherever we can get. Uh, if it's a, like like you said, like an adjunct or something, let's say it's honey or it's coffee mm-hmm. or it's something like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's local for us. Um, the local grains, um, and we use German German grains, so <laughs> that's <laughs> well, I mean, for, for what you're doing <laughs> and for what the, the the I guess the grain bill that you're using that works for you, and and that's kind of what you have to play off of for all your hops and right. your yeast and, it, and the flavor profile. And again, we're we're contracts, so I don't go um, too crazy. Um, it's got to be something that brewery can source easily, pretty much, and at a, uh, and at a reasonable we were, price. Yeah, yeah. I mean, me and uh, Drug Handle, me and Pete from Drug Handle, we pretty much uh, um, use the same kind of yeast and stuff like that, and that does matter. Uh, what always, what really matters is, um, you know, what kind of water you have, what kind of, uh, you know, additions you're doing, stuff like that. Hmm. What kind of salt you're adding it's like a, a fine line between the ph and mm-hmm. you know what what you're gonna put into that tank as you're you know trying yeah, to balance every, everything out. every beer is fine-tuned to to whatever style you're brewing right. or um you know what what you perceive to be the uh what the finished beer would what, what, what you want it to be right so, um yeah there's a lot of uh care that goes into that i suppose yeah, but I um measure. Yeah, what's like your I said, favorite I mean, in the end, in the end, it's beer, yeah. and uh, it works. <laughs> Joe, what's your favorite, Joe, what's your favorite football team? <laughs> uh, the Giants. There you go. Good. I hope they fucking lose every you game. Wearing You're wearing a Giants hat. You're wearing a goddamn Giants <laughs> I, I want them to lose every game and get the top pick in the draft. Yeah, I, want to take the the top. I want to take the kid it's, from uh, uh, Clemson. Uh, what is it? What's, uh, no, uh... Uh, Texas. Who's the guy? What, uh, the defensive end. You're not going to get traveling across state lines for kids, Graz. That's I. I that's generally <laughs> frowned upon. You know. Yeah. Pete, I, you know I what? Know I want to talk about your Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about hey, before, your Christmas. Before we do, because we're going to get into motherfucker. <laughs> Joe, uh, listen. I I really appreciate you calling in tonight. Uh, give us the the big plug where people can find you. Any upcoming events? Anything that's going on with the brewery that uh, people can find out about as they listen to this in uh, in post? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, like I said, um, we're open uh, Monday. We're closed uh, Tuesday through Sunday. Fifteenth uh, Station Place. Mm. It's the uh, Harpcade. That's right next to the train station downtown Metuchen. Um, Brandyboro Brewing, Brandyboro Brew Company. Um, anything, anything like that, you will find us in a second. Just, awesome. We're we're pretty much up there. Uh, search for it. And if you check his uh, October, and if you check his October twentieth post. He's very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Not creepy at all, Grass. Thanks, <laughs> Joe. Um, <laughs> thanks yeah, for calling uh, in. We will be at the AC Beer Fest. Yes, that's yeah, next, we're that's, that's we're we're gonna ca- we're, we're uh, expecting to be back there uh, this year. So hope to meet you there and hang out and try some beer, man. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, just. Uh, Give me, give us a shout. Hook up with uh, 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 the other Joe. He contacted uh, yep the other Joe. I know there's two Joes here. Joe Cassio, he right? The, Joe Cassio, yeah. yeah it's so time for you uh, to send me a sweatshirt, there, uh, Joey. <laughs> Joey, Nunn. he's what got size? plenty of sweatshirts. Like Don't this, send him anything. I like anything. this Brady Burrow Brewing. I wear it all the time. I like it. Listen, I have a hat for you. I'll get you a hat. I want to. I want a Brady Bro sweet, uh, sweatshirt. And well, when you come Belgian, down to AC Beer Fest I want a with us, Belgian T-shirt. Listen, we're gonna send a whole crew down to AC Beer Fest, and we'll we'll go hang out with Joe. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Joe, I like you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe. Uh, thanks a lot thanks for calling, for calling in, man. man. Thanks, guys. Good times. We'll talk to you uh, uh, upcoming and uh, set up some times to hang out with you at AC. Cool. All right. Sounds right good. I'll nice message you my Joe. address, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Joe. <laughs> 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 this is where Mike at Cubs Radio dot com. Uh, phone number here five one six four six five three nine nine zero five one six five one three zero five one five. Um, so I, I got a couple of things we got to kind of talk about really quick. First of all, I can't stop drinking the Belgian. I got to finish this because I want more Belgian, by the way. Yeah, I preferred. Yeah, I actually like yours stout. better. Yeah. The stout Kevin's was okay. Got, Kevin's the stout got was okay. Stouts. Kevin, you got a good beer, man. I think Thank my, you. My, my only issue with the stout is that the, a breakfast stout should be, in my opinion, a little lower ABV, somewhere around the four to five. The, I didn't know what the ABV was on Eight. That. Eight, yeah. We call it an it's APR, a, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> as you can, yeah, yeah, as you can yeah, tell yeah. from before. Kevin, can I ask you a question? How long are you doing this? Three years now? 
Uh, actually, the company's been, what is this, 2019? Four or five years we've been. Do you create all the beers? Uh, I do, yeah. How many have you done in the, in the years of you, you know, making beer? How many do you think you've done? Uh, for the company? Oh, for you. In general. Oh. Well, yeah, for the company. For the company. Forget about it. Yeah, it's you. easier to, than yeah, your home brewing stuff. For the, for the company, and... I, do a lot, I still do a lot of pilots, and I'm a, uh, I'm a bit of a nut. Uh, so I do many iterations on the pilot. So I got about 10 under my belt. Yeah. That's yeah. What, what are you serving now? How many are you serving now? On right, now <laughs> right now, because we just got in operations, I got two. I got the blonde, which has been out there forever. And then the Salvation a la mode. And in two weeks, I have another, I have a Saison coming up, which Ooh. I'm so excited about. Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, happy accident. <laughs> <laughs> Describe the accident. It was it. Uh, oh, my, well, one could say my whole life that's is what an my accident. mother used to yeah. call me. <laughs> <I don't remember>. <laughs> <laughs> Grass. <laughs> But no, it's just it, it just ties into uh, yeah a lot of events that were uh, you know at the time looked maybe bad but led yeah. to maybe the company so yeah which is of course the concept of happy, happy accident we thought was a good was a good one is that what you're gonna, you gonna call it then yeah that, that's fantastic yeah. <laughs> I just want MikeyBigosRadio.com who are we got on the phone what's up it's Mike Steve how are you guys hey doing? Mikey uh, Mike from Boston Canton Massachusetts home of Trillium. And our correspondent in the field for the Northeast, uh, the reason why I had you call in tonight, Mike, and I'm sorry you, you did a good job on waiting so long for uh, Joe for, to get off the phone. I appreciate it. I was, I was patiently waiting. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll take a triple XL. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just left the fucking room. Yeah, he's just like, no uh, explanation. He, yeah, it wasn't, he's, he's, it's Mike Cassiobo. Um, he's going back to our booth. Yes, exactly. He's in the booth. He knows. Um, uh, listen, I, I, I wanted to have you call in really quick because I wanted to thank you for the support you've given us over the last two years, buddy. Um, you and you your reporting and being on the show and helping me with a uh, flat tire coming home from one of the shows one night. <laughs> Getting me stoned down on my gourd in well, his back room. Oh, that's just, that's, yeah. that's me. <laughs> See? Um, yeah, those things that, uh, that you and, uh, you know, the crew up there has, has supported us. So I, I really do appreciate it, man. Hey, man. It's my pleasure. Hey, uh, Mike, mail, mail Mike some... Uh, trillium before I lose my no, mind. No, 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 oh, no, no. Some what? Castle Island lager. Oh, that was good. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. I, actually, there, uh, I was watching, I was watching the Beer Narrator last week, uh, Monday night, when he does his show. He's doing a show right now, by the way. Go to Beer Narrator on Instagram, and he's doing a live trivia show. Um, and he's from uh, Massachusetts, and one of the, I think the questions was about castle island if i'm not mistaken and i wrote i said no one can beat the pricing of a 16 ounce pilsner well or lager i'm lager, sorry yeah. it was a six pack of 16 ounce lager for i think it was 14 dollars yeah yeah six pack they're, of 16 awesome. ounces for 14 dollars and i'm like it's very we, good we beer. gotta take one of those home and <laughs> it's it was a very good beer yeah and, and the stuff that they're producing mike what have you uh, noticed in, uh, in recent weeks or months uh about the scene up there in, in the northeast uh, yeah, I mean, I how long my, are the lines my, at Trillium and Treehouse these days, Mike? Well, he doesn't get to Treehouse. Treehouse is west. That's too far away. That I'm actually probably that closer shit. to Treehouse than he is. Really? Yeah. Jeez. By the time he gets well, out of the city, I'm and not, I'm not about to drive an hour and a half to then go stand in a three hour line. It's just, it's, it's not. I mean, Treehouse is great. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I just, I can't, I can't no. fucking stand in the line for that. Uh, but um, but Trillium is so right in your hometown. Yeah, so that's the beauty. I don't have to wait in line. I just wait for the, you know, I wait, oh, Friday night when everyone's gone home or Saturday night when everyone's gone home. You're not waiting in line at noon anymore. Then I'll go and get my beer. There you go. So, uh, it's, a, it's a nice little perk. Did you get uh, death metal? Uh, dude, I got death metal <laughs> and I got heavy metal. Heavy metal was good. I I've got, had heavy metal. Dude, I, man, I had those on Halloween. <laughs> oh, boy. That death metal, uh, I think, was a ten percent triple IPA, right? Yeah, nine point seven. So right. I mean, right up there. You know, eh, who's, who's worrying about the point value? Come on, ten percent. You well, are. Right. Razz is. I'll tell you <laughs> what. I'll tell you what. The first one, the first, the first one went down smooth. Mm -hmm. The second down, the second one went down even smoother. Uh oh. And that just, and that just led me right into the uh, the black metal. Oh boy. Uh, two of and two of those went down. I love smooth. black. Black metal's a black IPA from Trillium. Very, very good beer. Yes. Love that one. That's oh, one of my favorites. Man. So you were a, you were a ghosts. mush by the fourth one. Mush. I was seeing ghosts that night. <laughs> <laughs> you and Sam, you and you Sam, Sam Darnold. Darnold. There you go. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Man. Um, <laughs> Mike doesn't yeah, follow the, actually, the Jets anymore. He doesn't have to. He He's up in a place where things actually work well in sports. Yeah, really. Jesus. You're kidding about that. We suck. Um, 
So the uh, another place I've been recently was down in uh, Durham, North Carolina. Ooh, oh, a place nice. called uh, High Wire uh, Brewing Company. I've heard of it. Yeah, nice. Really, really good. Um, really fun place too. Just a fun brewery. You know, foosball, uh, shuffleboard, ping pong, uh, bags, everything. Um, great tap lines. Um, really good stuff. Cool. Had this, uh, this uh, Mexican chocolate. Out. I'm it in. Was, I'm in, Mike. I want it. Mike, it was, let me ask you a question. So you, go, you, you heard go chocolate. All, you go to all these places, right? What, yes, what right. Do you, what differentiates the one that you like the most compared to others? Is it just something? Is it the beer or just the atmosphere or a combination of the food and everything? What? What? I think it's, um, it's definitely the atmosphere. You know, a brewery can be either pretentious and, you know, snooty. Or it can just be like, yeah, this is beer. Let's drink it and have fun. Hmm. Um, so it, it's, I think the, the atmosphere helps a lot with... Uh, yeah, so Mike travels know. all over the country through for, for his job. Hmm. And he gets to go to different uh, towns and cities. And, and, of course, being a craft beer lover... We'll explore uh, a couple of breweries along the way, so he's Plus able he's to see. He's got about nine wives in the east in the west coast, <laughs> there, Kevin. Just so you know, just the, nine, just nine, and fifteen uh, delinquent kids. Yes, besides the two right. he actually has in holes. Poppy, Poppy, <laughs> Poppy, Poppy. 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 <laughs> That's part of the the Mexican chocolate lager. Yes. yes, I know, I know. Oh, is that airplane daddy? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is number fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even have names; they just have numbers. Uh, you, so you, Durham, North Carolina, North Carolina, there's a pretty decent scene down there, right? I mean, High Wire is not the only one. I've seen a couple of them in the area. Uh, High Wire is probably the most prominent one in that area. But what else uh, was down there that you kind of tossed away and when I got to go to the number one pl- spot? Um, well, I think I was in Durham. Yeah. Uh, but there's a, uh, Asheville, North Carolina, which is yes. not too far oh, yeah. from Durham. That has a huge uh, brewery scene. I didn't get to get to Asheville, um, but... If I get down there again, I'm, I'd, I'd like to try to get that way. Yeah, um, that's that's a so spot. that's why we just settled on on the on high wire in Durham. So now I've, let me ask you something. Besides going to Flying Belgian in Oceanside as your favorite bar and uh, brewery go to, besides that one in New York, where would you go? Where's your net? Where's your favorite spot to go to, Mike? In New York. In New York? No, yes. no, anywhere. No, no, in New York. No, I know. No, because no, he grew up here at, right, on Long New Island, York, wait, but he lives in Boston. I want to so. get out of New York. I want to go to New York one. I want to get out of New York. Okay. You, give me two recommendations, there you go. Mike, because nice. I know you're good at it. Besides Flying Belgian, which is a top <laughs> which is a top place in Oceanside, run by Kevin with 10 beers, and he's getting me a fucking eight, sweatshirt. Eight beers on eight tap beers. when they open. Go ahead. Um, I think you should definitely come to uh, Castle Island mm-hmm. in Norwood, Massachusetts. Castle um, Island. I'm looking them up right now. We had a good time. Mike and I went uh, one of my trips up there. Uh, by the way, we're not doing anything this week, right? You guys aren't doing anything? This is usually uh, our, our week. No, no, we're not. Yeah, all right. Yeah, they're just going and haven't told you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I heard it in his voice. He's like, no, we're not inviting uh, you this year. Uh, Judith, uh, Judith, uh, Mike was asking Judith. where we're going for the week. I kind of told him Judith. we're going to be home. No, I, no we uh, usually, uh, Mike and I have a great time up there, so... We went. Uh, was it two years ago, or even last year? Maybe even. Um, we went to Castle Island. Good, good, good time. I'll tell you, it's yeah. a fantastic little spot. It's not even little. It's it's actually pretty huge. Yep, and it's, uh, you know a nice ten dollar lift from my house. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and by lift he means Uber, and by Uber he means not Gotham Gold Grass. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> I like, go fuck yourself. I hope, I hope all your Boston teams go fuck themselves. He's in Boston. I hope, How can I hope you Brady buy- breaks his neck. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't care about I mean, that. I don't know what the surcharge is for you to drive all the way up to Massachusetts just to drive me, you know, two miles. The to way my home. I had to try- <laughs> yeah, exactly. listen, Mike. The time I had with you in the studio, I'd do it. I'd come for that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> good times. Well, let's mark it down. Let's get yeah, a road show go. going. Nah, Jeez, well, that, we're, talk about it we are actually talking, by the way, and I was that's thinking about doing that going. sometime wait, wait, in the. Uh, see what he just said? No, I'm no, no, wait, wait. You. no, no. What he just said it's what? about time. I know. Well, listen, we got to. We do have to get up to Boston because there's a lot of breweries up there. And listen, Mike, I'm going to reach out to you. Um, oh, Night Shift. Night Shift, another awesome of one. Of course. Yeah, Night yeah. Shift is. Why isn't Castle Island coming up on um, on, on Instagram? It's uh, CI. CI Brewing or C. I. something. CI Brewing. Yeah. CI Brewing. If I'm not mistaken. Um, Mike, so we got we got to get you to be our grass. our representative up there. I do want to get up there and do a show on the road up there. Um, we'll figure out yep, a time man. and a place. I'm singing late spring. 
where we have a little less going on in like May and June before school ends and shit gets crazy. So uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll talk about that. That'll be a that'll be a fun one. How far are you away from this place in Norwood, Massachusetts? He said ten minute uh, lift ride. Really? Yeah. All right. Yep. Yep. If Mike, you're driving, they'll easily t- 20, 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> in the you know, bang bus. Uh, Pete, you see what happens is, Mike, yeah. they, they won't include me in this trip, but I'm going to invite myself. I'm coming, too. Okay. So it's going Excellent. to be the work with Mike and Pete with yep. the comedic talent grads. Yes, okay? sure. Right, Kevin? The, yep. yelli- the yelling. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want yelling, call <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Michael. All right. Sure will. <laughs> Uh, Mike, uh, Castle Island, Night Shift, of course, Trillium. What else stood out in the last few weeks for you uh, that you've had? Oh, Christ. Wait, you I didn't even – by uh, the way, you didn't even say you're a New York brewery. You said yeah. uh, up there uh, by you. Yeah, you what said about uh, favorite New York brewery? Because I know you've been down here down, enough. You've so, seen a lot. Yeah. I, I mean, typically the brewery I hit the most on Long Island would be Greenport just because if yep. I'm going out – when I go out to the ferry, I always make a little right. stop out there. Nice. Um I have not made that to North Fork on my on my uh, ferry trip, but I'd like to I'd like to put that on the list. That one's good. Yeah, they they have done, they have done some really great stuff uh, in the that, last that year. Sour we had for them the uh, with the yeah that shit was awesome. Yeah, the, uh, we was here. He, the, Mike was yeah, here yeah, for that the show. Back to the Future one. Yeah, that's fuck. What was that? Up, Run dude. the juice. No. Um. Back to the back to the lactose. Lactose. That yes. was it. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, they, I'm they, having they, a tough time finding. Sour beers that I like a lot, but that one was particularly delicious. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been getting into sours a lot lately, but like I think, I, I think what you're saying, Pete, I, I agree with. I, I don't, I don't always love the fruited sours, like the big over the top, you know, peaches or or you know, raspberry, uh, raspberry or something yeah. like that. Get, like I want more of like a dry hop sour or something. Mm. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's what I'm looking for myself. Kevin, could you do like a uh, – and tell me if this style is even possible because I'm just, uh, you know, spitballing in my head. Could you do a Brut Belgian Sour? Oh, what was it first of all? A Brut. You mean uh, – You could. Are, are you we could. fucking around what with it, the yeast No, too no, much I think there? it could work. Yeah? I think it could work. Huh. And I, yeah, I've given a little thought to it, but uh... – I haven't played too much with the brutes. What's a yeah. brute Belgian sour? How do you describe that? Describe it's about the yeast that you're using, and 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 it's champagne. think about champagne. What would be the APR on that? Would it be about would it come <laughs> in at about again seven, on your one? credit again? Back to your uh, credit, <laughs> way above prime. Would it come in? Would it come but in at a seven point five? It's Could worth it. <laughs> yes, it would be worth Can it. Can you yes. get me to a seven point five? No, I mean on those, you really it's traditionally a little lower, I mean, right? It's in the, the down five, payment may cripple you. I actually, I can't. I I haven't paid that close attention. I, I always do gravitate literally towards like eight percent, right? So almost every uh, every. I like I, do, I like I like eight percent. That it's such a nice little I round just number. Find <laughs> it's the perfect like uh, the, the flavor on an eight percent. I find yeah. that's just me. Okay, is often almost perfect. I agree with you. I, I agree in fact, with you. I, I almost. I just want to one second. I, I, I've been saying lately. I, I feel like I should have named the brewery eight percent. I have it like but. that's something we haven't heard that like <laughs> where the you know uh, brewers trying to hit on most of their beers a, a specific you know alcohol content. Yeah. That's I don't. I, I, I just find that everything's empty. You know, is where I find the 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 the, the, the highest quality, the bestest beer, so okay. to speak, is eight percent. Not necessarily as a drinker, really kind of want that. Sometimes I just want a four or five sure. myself because. Like you, in the summer, have, sometimes I just want to kind right, of throw a few back. Yeah, sometimes right. I do. I you're right. right. Even for something, five is so passe now. Everybody wants. Like Believe me, seven. I know that. I know Everybody that. Well, what, what like even right? Yeah. But like a, a culture, like you know, don't do like, it with a computer. Even with something right. like a culture or something like. Well, that. I don't brew culture. <laughs> oh, okay, right, right. Brew culture, but I just find I just find like to me every you know every time I'm brewing, it's like. Well, okay. 8%. It just makes. Well, just, uh, just, yeah, I just like to, I just get towards that. That that was a question I did want to ask you. As, yeah. as far as styles, so right. like, obviously, you know, uh, New England hazy IPAs, like that. That's the thing now. Like, right. And right. Um, is that something like that that you feel you need to brew or like that's not Belgian style, but like, is it part of that? A, a lot. Say, a oh, lot of breweries are, yeah. are brewing some of those. I, like that keeps I, the doors. I am open. working on an, a, 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 a crossover. Okay. Oh my it's God! It's a hybrid, and I and the, the first. So this is a funny one. I've been developing this one for a, almost a year now. I just realized uh, the first one I brewed, and it was almost like, oh, let me throw this together, just proof of concept again. Mm-hmm. That came off, off the charts. I can't reproduce it. 
Ah, I can't. I can't quite reproduce system. it. I threw it together kind of so quickly. I did take some notes, sure, just to see if it would work. I was like, well, I could see a hazy New England IPA and a Belgian style working together. Um, and I'll get it. And, hmm. You know, I, but I, I'm on my fifth or sixth uh, iteration yeah. of it now. The because lights were just flickering. Did you feel that? Did you feel? I don't that, make an IPA. That craziness. I, 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 I turn that down a little bit. Just until to, just I came so across the New Englands. No, nope. yeah, the yeah, West yeah, Coast doesn't work. Nope. In my opinion, I don't want to name another brewery, but another brewery has what they call a a Belgian IPA. It's it's fairly kind of well known one. Is it? uh, Is there a Seattle band that shares a name with said? No, Nirvana. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know the Seattle band scene that Temple of the Dog. It's not Nirvana. Okay, if that's the case, (laughs) because I mean this is not. Oh, we were talking about Omega. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Um, hey, Kevin, this is a fantastic beer. I thank you so much. To, it's the first time you, he's I, had that. I'm, I'm not saying. I know they, they get a little tired because what? all the shows, I usually say I like the beers. In the last couple of months, the brewers that have, have been really coming in here yes. have, been, <laughs> have been home runs. You have fantastic beer. Thank you so much, man. Like thank this. you. I really appreciate that. I like, like, the t- I like this taste. Thank you. Because yeah, I was, you know, back to when I was saying when we first got started and I was, you know, waiting for my licensing and building and I'm. Up at night, worrying, is anybody going to enjoy? Can, you know, Have no fear. People will enjoy this. Well, but that's uh, damn when, sure. you, when, you, when you're sitting there before you've opened and you've only got people that you know saying, hey, that's a good beer. Yeah. Uh, until you get somebody who's willing to pay for a it. Straight, yes. Yes. yes, you know, yes. And, and the people that there who, who, who have the <laughs> right to tell you that this beer sucks. Yeah. That's when you get the feedback that you I'm really need. I'm a paying need. customer and I will give you my exactly. true honest so opinion that, it, kind it, of thing. Uh, you know, I, I can't say enough how much I appreciate getting the good feedback because I was, let's, I, I'm always up late and I didn't, worrying about everything about my beer. Be- Belgian beers aren't unpopular, but it's not. It's not all it, well it's, known. It's right. not. Listen, right now there, uh, p- there are there are there are stores I go into and they're like, you don't got an IPA, get out of here. Yeah, absolutely. That's really eighty percent. They just of turn you away immediately, that, like what, that, because that they just turn you away immediately. Like yeah. no, you're not selling uh, IPAs. That's, it. No, yeah. we're good. that's, that's what that, sells. It doesn't. Yeah, the Belgian. Yeah, I, I mean, I get the concept. Like they they have a business to run too, yeah, and I they mean, know they, they know what's coming out. Run, of it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah but the, you know, for me, it's a question of it's getting, and, and in a lot of cases, it's getting people to just give it a shot. So the right. the hazy beer that that you did brew, like what what's if that's not an IPA, what style was that? It came if, out. It came out. It the funny fall. part was, I'm like, well, if I put this out, it, should I put anything about the IPA on it? It like came out. I'm telling you, this one, the first, the first iteration of the crossover, came out. And I'm not just saying. I was, I was. Uh, everybody I gave it to was like, this is, this is unbelievable. Now, you, you say crossover. How, yeah. How, how so? Like, well, it, it, it had the elements of a, of a Belgian. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I used a Belgian yeast. I did a lot of the things I do with Belgian. I raised the temperature. Okay. So I get more esters, and that was great. You know the the hazy beers at, was a different malt bill first. Yeah, well, it was, it was Belgian malt bill. Um, mm. Not similar to Belgian malt bill. Okay, okay. It was, it was, it, you know, I'm just looking back now. That you know, and of course all the hop the hop additions. You know, but the hazies, it's uh, it's 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 interesting. And 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 for me, I am I I I'm not a hop guy. Because the Belgian, it's just not that important. That's, I'm yeah, not yeah, saying yeah. I don't care. The the yeast, the play, yeast is the plays thing. so much more. I use traditional hops like Hallettau or Goldings. Sure. Those you, noble you know, hop varieties. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, all the traditional stuff. So it hasn't been. You're not deal. throwing like Galaxy or fucking Simcoe right, right, right. mosaic. So now all of a sudden I start <laughs> Citra. I, like I, 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 I have a, this, a this single hop my first Belgian cannabis. Cannabis. All right. And I don't know what I'm doing. You know, and all of a sudden I'm like, <laughs> trust I, me, I know what I'm doing. I, no, no, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I do yeah. not. In this I, case, I'm just like, do not know what I'm doing. I'm throwing this together and putting this together. It's like, ah, you know, I'm gonna have like a, like an Italian, you know, putting spaghetti on a steak or something. I don't know. It was these two styles. Sounds that I'm delicious. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I'd still well. eat it. <laughs> so, me too. so I will have that out at some so point. So, are, are you st- for most of your beers? You are using like those those like traditional noble hops, like the, the stuff that's not um, that. Right, not uh, not God. the citrus, not the amarillos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, for most for most of mine, the I, stuff I, that hopheads want to see on the label. Exactly. That's not what you exactly. No, <laughs> and that's and that's a challenge because there's you know, you know my back of the envelope estimate is we got 70 percent of the market is IPAs. Absolutely, it still is. Yeah, yeah. You know, so and 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 it used to be the West Coast, which the West Coast to me does not lend itself well to the Belgian. If you put I have the a West tough Coast, time with those like the piney resiny sort of like yeah. like hot bombs. 
Yeah, I mean, I, it, are tough I, I originally when I first started drinking uh, IPAs, and my first one was probably uh, Brooklyn's uh, East India. Oh, which yeah. Is, which is a mellow I, IPA. I like it's that an one. Old school. When that first came mm-hmm. out, I was like, yeah, and I'm what like, is this? this is nice. Yeah. Right? And I'm like, this, I like this IPA concept. And then I think, yeah, from my opinion, things went maybe a little too far. Just, you think? Yeah, just a lot. So, but, but to me, when I was resistant to the West Coast IPAs and the Belgian, it's like, well, the ones that I've had, it's all hops. Hmm. The Belgian gets lost. Okay. I, could, I could do it. I could sure. throw it in it, and it would probably sell. But it's, I'm just, it's, just not, it's just not right. Is that, not a t- is that a tough, you know, yeah. uh, is that a tough line to walk? Because, like, the, the, um, I would say a lot of breweries, like, they probably want to be brewing some of those different styles. But yeah. if, you, if you want to pay the bills, you got to be – you have to have some hazies. You have to have some of those you – know. uh, It's a tough line. I still think in the long run it will be the right path for me. Sure. I hate to use the word path because it's kind of cliche. But it is – listen, I want to do the Belgian. I think there's a, there's, there's a market for Belgian. I think it also in the long run – I hope there is. I, yeah. I'm, I mean I, – I, I personally think they're the they're, they're t- fantastic beers. So Absolutely. I think they're Kevin, underrepresented, yeah. so to speak. Kevin, yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you're at the eight percent with your beer, right? You have oh, to sell it for a little bit higher. Is the price going to the be? Price? Like, speaking of hazies. Um, actually, <laughs> like a pint, like a pint of your ah. eight eight point five or whatever. So yeah. What does it go? What does it go? And for? I, you know, so I, I I don't necessarily correlate the the price to the ABV, but I do right. know people do. APR. So this this I'm on the shelf, not going to get people to started. And it, I think it's about. 16.9, four-pack. Oh, nice. Oh, that's, oh, that's not bad. bad. It's not bad. It's no, not bad, I, not bad at all. No, that's, right, that's, exactly. I think it's right there with very, everybody that's else. Very that's very Listen, I bought, she bought a, what was the one with the dollar signs on it, Pete? But, uh, you Barrier got, money? You, yes. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look yes. Yeah, Barrier, yeah, Barrier money, money. done. Someone who's not brewing hazy. No, <laughs> well, I still, I still <laughs> listen. It was you got to know your. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was 1999 at uh, at Stu Leonard's. Right. Yeah. You yeah. Know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yep. That's not a bad price. Because right. I, what you it was like a 7.9. You drink two of them, you're cuckoo for cocoa. Point. Yeah, exactly. but look at this 8.0. Well, hold yep. on, let me get that. I'm coming to get yeah, that. Yeah. Well, I what I just cracked open, and we were just speaking about hazies, and you could try this. So this is uh, something I picked up at Secatog, Mikey. Um, this is uh, oh, Yeehaw, he, Yeehaw Spaceman. It is a double dry hop uh, New England double IPA at 8.7. So maybe get a little different profile off of this. It's not super hop. It's very, you know, juice forward. Um, you know, like you said, probably not the exact thing you want, but it's got a lot it's of, nice. no, it's nice. yeah, aram- adar- uh, aromatics. aromatics. Yeah. Thank you. No, it's nice. um, and it's not over the top, you know, bitterness. So it's got, you know, a lot of that juice profile to it. I have one of these in oh, the. It's uh, very nice. Yeah, oh, it, like it does it. a oh, really like great that. finish on oh, that. What's your favorite beer? Like, yeah, what? Besides, what, what, what? besides your two Belgians. Yeah, exactly. Which are delicious, by the way. Don't worry. Yeah, 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 besides yeah. yeah. Your restaurant beer, other than like, other than flying Belgian, yes. wow, well, my favorite. Lately, my favorite brewery lately that's not flying Belgian is Unibrow. Oh, uh, oh. I think it's Montreal. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Great stuff. Not a fan I mean, of the all Belgian, Mears. by the way. All Belgian. Did you say Unibrow? Yeah, yeah they, Unibrow. Uh, I know it sounds like the you know B R A U. I have a I have a mod I poster in my basement. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I love and, yeah, I, and yeah. I and I love their branding also. Their yes. artwork, everything they do. I'm Gosh. not nuts about the Ephemer series. The the, the um ah fuck the Fin de Mont? Oh no, La Fin de Mont is yeah, yeah. is one of the right. all time greats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the uh, Ephemer series. The um. They're like the fruited beers. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're saying. I'm always a bit... With- Those I'm not nuts about, but La mm. Fin du Monde. Uh, uh, so my my wife's name is Terry, and every now and then we call her Terrible. Uh, terrible. Uh, so uh, Unibrow has yeah. uh, the Terrible, yeah, which yeah. you know, that fucking strong dark. Yeah, yeah. I- I've loved everything yeah. from... Yeah, they're, they're, they're fantastic. They're fantastic. Have you had the, uh, the, Meg- the Dave Mustaine beer from them, the Atout Le Monde? I think I have, but I can't. Very good. I can't recall. Re- Maybe that's a weird good label. <laughs> but what's that's, it called? That's what's it called, those, Pete? It's uh, a Tout Le Monde. A it's Tout Le Monde. Uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, they did a collaboration with Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did have that. Yes. I did have that because I remember Very reading good. the label. Yes. I remember reading the label. And it's super and it was, low ABV. Pete, like how many? How many something yeah, something like 4 or 5%, yeah, which I yeah. think is an a an accomplishment, Absolutely. quite frankly, for a Belgian to be able to get the flavor. I think they that's get. A, like a dry hop saison or something like that. I think. Uh, that I, I don't. What, I don't I remember. What I don't remember is. specifics on it, but I do remember, and I do remember reading the Megadeth. Yeah. I'm not a heavy metal guy, so. Um, but I I know enough to know Megadeth. Yeah, sure. You know, yeah. 
didn't fall off the tree. <laughs> 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 Completely. Yeah, there, uh, that was er- early on when I started getting into craft beer. Like that yeah. was one of the uh, the it's brews that I lo- the yeah. Mordite is. But I, yeah, but I love the, the classic Belgians, the Chimay's, the Duval. Sure. You know, I remember getting a uh, a three pack of the Le Fin de Mon, like series in oh, a wood beer. case oh, as man. like a. Uh, one of those Christmas grab bag gifts, and I went, "Oh my God, this is the best Christmas grab bag gift ever!" I got, you know, three twenty twos of uh, some delicious. Uh, Man, what's the uh, different styles that I, I, I at that time I didn't drink that style, and I went, "What the hell is this? Is it unbelievable!" What what's the I've been exposed to, and I'll say even here, you know, like, and I, I drink Belgians. I'll actively seek them out on yeah. a tap list. I'm not trying to blow smoke up your ass. It's delicious. Thank you so much. It's something I can continue drinking all night. I, I, do we have, do we and I'm only opening this because Peter I bought Brown. way too much beer this weekend <laughs> that I can't not open it. I need to open some of this shit. And, hey. and this, by the way, this is what, Sekatog? Yeah, Sekatog. It's, uh, yeah, it's Yeehaw great. Space it Man. It does smell great. It is. No, it's, yeah. It tastes great. It My, yeah, it's not over the top hoppy, right? It's, no, it's well, very I mean, citrusy. It's, 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 listen, the, the, the citrus that juice level. Kinda, the juicy, yeah, but yeah. not the bitter. I'm, uh, I like it a gr- really a lot. Yeah, good. What's up, bud? Mike, Greg Filippo says he wants to join us. In the Boston trip to go visit Mike. Nice. Uh, right. Mikey, you, you oh, know well, wait, uh, Greg wait, 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 wait. He just texted me, no, smooth, I can't. Yeah, I've been arrested no, there. It. He's got a parole. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, Whoops. Greg. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mike, which, you still there with us? Which one is there? I'm hanging out. All right, cool. <laughs> I, I didn't want to leave you on too Fuck long. It, Mikey, you rock. Stay there, Mike. We like yeah. having you on. Oh, no, I, I don't want to leave him on too long. He's got, he's got a life to live. No, he doesn't. It's already That's almost 11 o'clock. He's got to wake up and do work. Yeah, he's got one life to live. Mike, I'm going to go save lives tomorrow. There you go. Mike, what wife are you with? today <laughs> number 12 uh it's not the wife yeah. okay good. old number seven no actually mike's in manhattan right, right now correct nobody anybody whiskey That's joke cr- no. that is all correct. right mike is actually in manhattan he's traveling <laughs> down did you get to anything uh this week did you get to any breweries in around the area no no pretty uh pretty pretty boring, pretty boring. uh do you do you have any free time tomorrow i do not ah, yeah. I, 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 I go I, to I, work do. Fuck you, Mike. <laughs> that was Mike's way of saying, I don't want to hang out with you, you're a yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, there's only three breweries on the island of Manhattan. There's Heartland. I couldn't name any of them. There's Death Avenue, and there's ABC Beer Co., and, and that's it. And then there's Hang Out with the Dud, which is you. Oh, I, I, I'm not available to go hang out with them. <laughs> is it the Relax. fedora? Or? Yeah, it, this is not a fedora. It's a newsboy hat. I like my newsboy hat. Fuck off. I want to sell you papes. I want to sell you papes, sir. Five pence. I don't even know if pence was the right word. Uh, Mike, right, l- listen, so I'll, I'll let you go. 2020. 2020. Yeah. Roadshow. Yeah. Fucking do it. Let's stop talking. Stop whistling Dixie. Yeah. Let's get this shit done. I mean, what do I you do want there, Mike? Just let's hear it now. Mention the names you want there right now. The names of the people? Yeah. Mike, Pete, and Graz. Correct. <laughs> That, that sounds good to me. Thank Maybe. You. I'll I'm, bring Nicky Nux and I'll bring Nucks. an intern. And, and Nicky yeah, Nux. We, we, don't need, we don't need Thomas Santiago. I can be the intern. Are you, are you jealous of Thomas? Oh, my God. He gets all the chicks. He sure does. I mean, that's why we bring him around. Shut, he, up, shut up, Pete. You bought a $150 <laughs> Christmas tree. I did. <laughs> I did. All right, Mike. We'll talk to you later, buddy. Thanks again for everything you did, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right, fellas. Take all right, buddy. Hazy, Mike. Later. Mike, listen to this. Did you say take it hazy? I said no. I said take it hazy. Take it hazy, buddy. He's a boy. Long, that does Good sound long. like a joke I would make. <laughs> yeah, let, let's let's start to wrap up the show with uh, Pete's uh, adventure in uh, no. Christmas tree order. Come Let's on, see. Pete. That's a great story. It, it really was a great story, and it we really kind of grew some legs here as we were hanging out uh, and talking a little bit about it. All right, hold on, folks. Buckle up, because this is Pete's 2019 Christmas tree of extravaganza. So Pete, Pete went out and, and grabbed a Christmas tree, as most of us do, uh, get a Christmas tree from... Uh, a live Christmas tree, right? I mean, obviously, you're not buying a uh, it was alive until pre-lit I LED f- state-of-the-art $200 pre-lit tree. Much to my wife's chagrin, no. Your okay. wife wanted, and let's pre- preface this by saying your wife wanted an artificial tree, correct? We have one in the basement, yeah. and if I could burn it in the basement without setting the rest of my house on fire, I would. Okay. <laughs> Now, is, it, is something wrong with it, or you just don't believe in, like, artificial trees? No, Grinch. Uh, Graz is nailing it. Yeah. I am, in fact, a Grinch. I fucking hate Christmas. Oh, God. The okay. views of people. So, <laughs> it, let me, wait, wait. If you hate Christmas. I do. Then why I do you enjoy, go through the trouble of getting a real tree? Because it's nothing but a hassle. I, I grew enjoy, up, wait, wait. I grew up I with I enjoy a, the 10 minutes yeah. I get when my kids are excited about opening presents. Yes. Everything else. But from, what does it matter what the tree looks like? From... 
uh, they don't go, wow, my presence is so much better because my tree is Thanksgiving real. Everything from Thanksgiving to December 25th yeah. like, is just ass. Uh, stress <laughs> it's ass. and it's misery ass and anxiety. Okay. And, uh, but don't you like ne- that? Don't you like that? You know it's always going to come to fruition. You know, but you're going to have that 15 minutes of smiling at her, at your kids. True. I love that. Yeah, I love that. It's still hard to look forward to. <laughs> All right, so wait a minute now. So you guys go to get a tree in Huntington, correct? Elwood. Elwood. Okay. So what, so much better. What, t- what proceeds after that? Tell tell the story. <laughs> I have a tree in my den. Okay. That, that's that's and what that's happens. it. You took. If, well, let me let me pontificate a little bit more. Go ahead. Did you, you, you take? Didn't you have a sawzall? I don't know. Did I? Yes. You Did you a have a, a battery-powered sawzall? Uh, yeah, of course. So of course. He, that's he, why. That's what you go into the tree farm with. Because he has a pregnant wife yes. and children. Yes. He took the blade off the sawzall okay. and proceeded I was to trying to be responsible. Try to and put it in his pocket, which makes sense. Okay. And you had a little. What was it? A little uh, Allen key that tightens nope. it in. So it just pops in and clicks yeah. in. Okay. And there's a release to it. He don't want to talk about. I have it, a shitty one, continue. so that's why I'm asking. I have an Allen key one that does. So it. as the Grinch yeah. finds the tree that everybody likes, he goes into his pocket to get the sawzall and put it into the piece that he's got. It was not the tree my dog pissed on, by the way. I <laughs> forgot to mention that. My Jesus Christ! <laughs> so wait, you brought the you brought the you brought the dog too. I brought the dog. It pissed on the first so, tree. It, so, fa- it found a small like Charlie Brown looking tree. <laughs> okay. And it pissed on it. I'm like, well. I should probably cut that one down. I think that's the dog's tree. <laughs> <laughs> so you proceed to find a tree and go now to I wish cut took it down, a dump on and you don't have tree. the blade anymore. What did you say about a dump? You might I, as said, well. I wish my dog could take a dump in the field somewhere now. <laughs> It'd be worth you get your one fifty yeah. worth, right? God. So you proceed to find a tree and go into your pocket to use right. the blade, and the blade's gone. Is that correct? And then I made a show of going to look for the saw blade, which you <laughs> like. There's no, knew. there's no way. I'm finding this small fucking saw blade. Like, needle in the haystack doesn't begin to sum yeah. up looking for I mean, a, for in a tree farm, forget it. It's fuck, every, yeah. So no. it's so busy that they called Hector. It wasn't busy. Well, but they called Hector from like three acres away, correct? They called Lee. <laughs> All right. Lee. They gave me Lee's number. Okay. Which was, the, said, the call solution, Lee. He's going to cut your uh, tree the, down. I'll, I'll put it. The, the, uh, the proprietor's solution to my mm-hmm. dilemma of mm-hmm. a lack of a saw blade Mike. was to give me the cell phone number. Of some guy who who <laughs> owned or worked there that was roaming the fucking uh, rows of two Christmas acres trees away, yeah, with a fucking chainsaw, yeah, that that will which work. It w- put my mind completely at ease <laughs> that there was just some fucking random guy with a chainsaw. You know what would have done it better? You, lurking the the image of like a seven year old with one of those blades just fighting with his brother, <laughs> I mean, hacking off pieces of skin. The only way this would make it oh, better is if, is if oh, no. someone found this saw blade and used it for uh, violence on someone yes. that didn't deserve it. Yes, I mean, yes, that's yes. the only way to make this better. You right. haven't heard if that's happened, correct? Since I mean, you, I, since you got the tree. Crossing my fingers. You better highlight this. <laughs> <laughs> One can only hope. Right. After what you went through. So, so, so you go and you you finally get a saw blade, a, like a rented saw blade, like a hacksaw from Lee, somebody. No, I had Lee to go. Comes. I had to leave and go to Home Depot to buy a new saw, blade. A new blade. And so you had to go how, to the ATM, right? Wait, 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 wait. At this point, how how long have you been in this? Probably hell? an hour, maybe. So you're no, already an hour in. No, let me. It's. Uh, an inconvenience. Wait, at the time, so you went to go to the saw blade. Did the whole family go to Home Depot with you? Yeah. So you left the tree you wanted behind. Well, that's because the, the and youngest child the needed to use the restroom. Oh, so that also is part of the hell, is going to a I mean, public restroom to, to let the ch- children relieve themselves. Could you put Christmas music on, please? I have the please Grinch don't. on. All right. <laughs> Keep it all loud. <laughs> so go ahead. Anyway. So go ahead. Wait a minute now. So Lee shows up. And Lee does about- not show up. Uh, that that's 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 the better part of it. Okay. Lee never shows up. Okay. He said, "Fuck this guy." <laughs> hence, hence me <laughs> You're having not to. Not going to see that bald guy down yeah, the no, road. No, no, I way. don't like him. He's a dick. I he, no. He Lee doesn't fucking like asked where I was. Yes. I said I am right on the entrance road, thirty yards from the entrance, and he said, "Where's the tree?" I said, "Right where I'm fucking standing." I said, "I didn't use the f word because yes. at this point I was still hoping." That this someone would find nut job with a chainsaw would show up. Ha- well, if he showed up, he would have cut that tree down in two seconds, correct? Right. He also probably would have told me that the tree was $150, and then would have been like, no fucking way, and went and bought one off so, of a so, tree uh, lot. Wait, wait, one more time. So you you went to, uh, after picking so I get the tree. The, so I picked the tree. Right. 
I you get went the back saws, to home, I, I home, come back, right. I go to Home Depot, right. I get the blade, there I come go. back, cut the tree down. Yeah. Uh, I bring it. the tree up. I had not, I mean, it's it's you know, it, it wasn't an ordeal to cut the tree down or okay. carry it up. It was relatively close to where yeah. you check out. All right. How much was the sawzall at Home Depot, by the way? Oh, it was like three bucks. Like that. That's yeah, not that, a that, that's oh, not okay. good. All right. Yeah. But still, just to have that, the, the, uh, the only thing that would have made it worse is the battery died in mid cut. I I checked. <laughs> that, that was one of the things. Like, I before, like rock it down <laughs> and have it left, unfinished like, I don't want to get there with like a fucking dead battery. So I tried <laughs> at least fresh off the charger. <laughs> Okay. You did the responsible thing, by the way, by taking the blade off. I wouldn't have done it. Yeah, I would have left the I'm whole like, fucking thing you know, in the trunk. <laughs> I, I, by the way, when we get back there, I don't take the blade out. I put the blade in because I'm like, I'm not doing this again. Yeah. And when you kids like, touch it, I, I'm like, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> they can get a fucking scar. They'll have a great story about how awful their dad, their how much shitty they father, took him to fucking. White, just, white just, Junior has four fingers. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, and how 2019 <laughs> Pete took it right God, on the chin. I really the did. Year. What a fucking year! Right, so you, so you go, you get the you get the saw back, you take the tree back, take the tree back, and the guy goes to you, 150 bucks. He he asked what kind of tree it was when when the guy cut it down. I'm like, well, he never fucking came. So I left here and I bought a saw blade and I cut it down myself. I don't know what kind of tree it is. Yeah, it, and he looks on a fucking sheet of paper. And he tells me it's $150. Now, did it like, have like a colored ribbon on it that no. told him? So he just guessed. He just guessed at the variety you of You got trade. your ass handed to you. Greg D. Filippo said you should have just... Let let the you should just let the kids piss on the tree just like just like the door <laughs> instead like of Home Depot. Gre- Greg's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> nope, he's he's got it right on the money. <laughs> Everyone should have took a piss on the tree. Me. So do you at one point when he tells you one hundred and fifty dollars, like Michael said before, we're again break. Like, at this point, I, I like I'm pot committed. I am just like this. I am I am it's seeing a, this. I'm all in. I am all in and seeing this this. Uh, no, you want to get out of this circus. hell as fast as possible. I, I don't. If that means one hundred and fifty dollars to push yeah, in the pot, I, I'm I, out. I don't like anything about the day. So a, as I was telling you during the break, <laughs> this is the cutting a tree down is like this thing my dad and I used to do, and I, I look forward to it. And when my wife wants to get an artificial tree, it hurts me. But this is one of the compromises I make being married. And then, so this year, it's my year, because we, we flip-flop. One year, we'll use the artificial tree. The next year, I get to kill one, and, and, and that's, that's good. A child, then, you get to kill, kill one of your children. I, on the way back from getting the saw blade, or, or, or from going to the ATM to get more money to pay for this fucking... Jesus Christ. Which, by the way, was well, another trip off site. Spe- endangered species the of a fucking tree I got. The world's most expensive Charlie Brown tree in the world. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, I'm like, and, and I remember to myself, that's right. I'm, I, I'm a dad now. I'm in my late 30s. I'm not allowed to have nice things. I'm nope. not allowed to enjoy experiences nope. anymore. Anymore. I don't know why I thought this would be a good thing to do with my family. I, this is just, you know. Kill me. Yeah, eat, eat a bullet. <laughs> so learning hate... from this experience, uh, in a year or two, when you go do this two same- Two years. Two years, because you're going to skip- ne- there's, I'm not even going to argue with my wife next year about- The about next year. Oh, no, no, no. No. Not with a newborn in the house, no. and you're trying to figure this out. So in two years, when you go to this again, are you going to go back to the same spot? Fuck no. <laughs> go out to Fuck Baby, the Elwood go out Christmas to Baby tree Hollow. Farm. They got a nice area for Christmas trees. That was the, you know what? It, so it was. I, the, I don't want to ruin your parade. The, the backstory was. The same was, day we went out and got a tree. I, I heard. For $60. Yeah, I, you know what it was? It, it was, was a the, beautiful tree. <laughs> we had, I, I had to work on Black Friday. The, I had to work oh, the day after Thanksgiving. Okay. So like, yeah. I didn't know what time I was getting out. We had a limited amount of time. So the only <clears> place <throat> we could go to mm-hmm. was. Elwood, because that uh, is close to the closest, matter, but though. have a, a real Christmas tree yes. farm. Yeah, Elwood, so where the no, Christmas I don't... trees are one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Fuck that fucking town. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean the one we go to, we don't actually cut it. We used to. We used to go all the way out to Baiting Hollow uh, yeah. on Sound Avenue and actually tag it in October and come back in December and cut See, it. Yeah, I've never done that. And it's awesome, and and it, w- it still wasn't that much. It was still more expensive than I'm getting I... it now. Yeah, but no, I paid. Even with usually the I paid like seventy, eighty bucks. Right. Well, they, for, like you said, like a live I Christmas said to tree, Christina on the couch as she's telling me the story. Oh, I said, God. "Chris, so after he told her to take off your clothes, I pay, I spent I spent sixty dollars for the tree, right? And I thought that was a lot. And when I heard oh, that, I went, if I spent forty dollars more just to travel out east for the day, have lunch and everything, I still would have been okay with it. For one fifty, I wanted a flight, a nonstop flight." <laughs> To South uh, Hampton, into you know like private airport via helicopter jets. I want to be handed champagne as I get off the jet. 
and I want to be handed the tree, and I have no work to do. Fuck the sawzall, fuck the blade, fuck the Home Depot run. I, I, I don't mind cutting the tree. I, I like the cutting the tree down. Right. Like, that's, that's the whole reason I right. worry I for this that. fucking that, yeah. charade. Yeah. Right. Do the kids know to you the world's biggest Grinch? Uh, I mean, they're getting an inkling. Now, <laughs> I think we should. I think we should take this clip and send it to your wife and tell him to. Oh, oh she, I mean, she no. There, yeah, dude. she has no illusions that I fucking loathe this time of year. <laughs> What's your favorite time of the year? Fourth of July? Yeah, yeah. beer time. No, I, no, my favorite holiday is Fourth of July. Yeah. Seriously, seriously, I, I, I. Oh, by I, the way, last I love of July. my country. I love I love oh, a good dude. barbecue and. Uh, and P and I set off a shit ton of fireworks yeah, at his house. I, last I love year. blowing shit up. <laughs> You blew you blew up the that's whole the front thing. lawn. I would that's the thing. I would rather bl- I would rather never... burn money, literally burn money yep. on fire on the fourth of July <laughs> than cut it's a about hundred and fifty dollars on a fucking Christmas tree. <laughs> but you did. <laughs> well he had to at that point, like you said, he was pot committed, so pot nothing committed. you could do. I just wanted the nightmare over. So now how's it look in your middle of your oh, it, room? Again. Is it the it's nicest, not that it's a bad it, tree? Is it the nicest hundred and fifty dollar Christmas tree ever? Of course not. <laughs> but uh, it is. It is. It's a nice tree. It has. It's the 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 soft needles. Uh, but honestly, it's gonna last till this. It's gonna last till February, so uh, January seventh. I'm. I mean, I'm half dreading, half hoping when I get home that like my dog has gone on a fucking tear and like ripped the Christmas tree down, ate it all, and. You know, I and know, there's that, another eight hundred dollar bill to the vet as it ate like right poisonous I, like, <laughs> pine I, needles. That, I, I don't know if that would put me over the edge or <laughs> like if that would just be the the you know the best part of my day if the if the dog ruined the Christmas tree at this point. Kevin, would you spend one hundred fifty dollars on a Christmas tree? No, <laughs> no of course, <laughs> there's that's really the no answer. way for me to, no. to to make it nice. Of course not. To be no. nice, but that no, no. that is one hundred percent the right answer. <laughs> of course, you don't spend one hundred and fifty dollars on a tree. Right. Right. Matthew Filippo says that it's, maybe it's time for you to stop drinking. No, uh, drink so drink when more. I think drink about more. that, drink yeah, more. Uh, yeah, drink yeah more. that's I the think, obvious I answer. Think the, 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 I'm not drinking enough. enough. Yeah, exactly. Ke- yes. Kevin's right again. Yep. I'm not drinking enough. I would have stumbled back into the tree farm with enough beer and be like, just fucking do it. Right. Give a shit. I mean, $150. Kevin, really, at this point, I should ask Kevin to, to brew up a special batch of super high octane beer and light that fucking Christmas <laughs> There you go. The whole farm on a fucking Belgian fire. A Belgian style light that shit on <laughs> fire. Right. So. Uh, Kevin, does the flying Belgian have the nativity in their lobby or anything like that? Uh, we do not now. We have really no lobby right now. We have no tasting room. But other than nativity. that, it's it's we're lucky. We have a front door exactly, with a lock. And yeah. even that's questionable. <laughs> yeah. Shit, a, that I should have, have, have known that two weeks ago. Yeah. Was do you have a wreath? At least a wreath? Uh, no, they're not doing anything there. We do not have a wreath right now. Yeah. Well, you might, be, maybe next week we'll have a wreath. There you go. And you have your own little uh, private, uh, you know, uh, brewers only moment where you guys uh, kind of christen the new year. And uh, yeah, I'll have a little more before we go. Yeah. Um, and, and in between you and Dan and Pat and Brett and uh, anybody else involved, by the way, just basically those are the, the big four horsemen, I guess. Uh, right now, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, finish that for me. Nice. Thank you. Um, Man, a lot of fucking great beer tonight. Yeah, dude. I, this, I, is really, this is really good. Yeah. It, it is really good, yeah. I, I, I that wholeheartedly. And I think Ken does a great job. I, I spent a lot of time uh, going to that brewery. I've stopped there a few times now on happy hours on the way home. It's literally on the way home. Mm. Um, and they do a great job. And I think everything that I've had uh, consecutively, they've cha- they're have they another one that, that changes their board out almost every week. There's something new up there. Go. And you're like, fuck, there's another thing yeah. up there. Like, I only it got drives the man, I feel like. Exactly. It, you, you, get that, like back, you get that, you get that FOMO. Especially once they feel, oh, I went there once, it was good. If they go there twice, it's good. They're just going to keep on coming also, back. Also, you, you get that like FOMO. Like, you see, on social media, you see that, like, <laughs> yeah. there's something new on the board. I need I need to go get that. Like, yeah. I, I yeah. Yeah. suffer from that all well, the time. Well, the same thing, the old beer. Like, hopscotch. Yep. When I, like, I... It always looks good. I love, yeah. always looks I love good. Always I, something. I love that idea, of Hopscotch man. Um, oh, so that guy's a douche. <laughs> <laughs> You're in business with him. Uh, listen, uh, so I, I want to just start the process of thanking people. It's going to take a little while. First, Kevin. First and foremost, I want to thank you for coming out on a Anytime. shitty night. Anytime. Um, and it's great hanging with you. Del- yeah, yeah, this yeah, my, really good conversation. Yeah. And delicious beer. And I could see how the guys at Long Beach and you get along very well. Yeah. It's it's the same vibe that we got from them that we get from you, and and it's been a lot of fun. I'll get back to you in a minute. Uh, I want to thank everyone. And I will because I, I, I'll wrap it up that way. I want to thank everyone. Um, this is my 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 tearjerker moment, but. 
Uh, two years, Pete, you and I have been doing this and, and have a lot of fun with this. There's been so many people we've met along the way, so many new friends we've made. Friends that you and I, you know, we're getting too old to make new friends. We really are. No, I, people I, don't like me generally. And so, gen- But everyone yeah. likes you, and especially Graz, who hates me, apparently, but I thinks you're you, the Michael. talent of everything. <laughs> you, the guy yeah, who sold it a tree, he loves you. Yes. He loves asshole. you. Oh, he <laughs> loves you. He loves you, man. Pete, just to He's let like, you know, Greg said I would have went back to the tree from... Yeah. Shit in an aisle and told him I was giving him free <laughs> fertilizer for the next year. Hey, there you go. And I asked for twenty dollars in return. Let me get a discount on the Again, fertilizer. Greg's not wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everything he's saying sounds legit. Um, but thank you. Uh, I'd say thank you to Pete, to you, buddy, uh, hey. for for agreeing to do this with Thanks me. Thanks for having me here. And going. No, stop it. For two years of uh, uh, of wedful bliss uh, uh, in beer. I know that's it's awkward. In beer, in beer. All right. Um, and. Everything that we've done along the way has been a, a shit ton of fun. I don't she put think the Jerry Lewis telethon music in oh, the back. <laughs> Jerry Lewis, <laughs> fucking guy. I don't even know if that exists. Is that real music? <laughs> yeah, there was, he sings that last song. Holy oh, shit, he's not going Thank you, nowhere. my friends. Until take, we meet again. Is that what it is? Until we meet again. Yeah. He's going on a fucking sabbatical. His kid's <laughs> coming in February. I'm the guest host in February. Enough said. What the fuck? Until we <laughs> meet again. Shit. Is that Holy the song? Holy crap. Oh, Pete, you know, it's been two years. I love you very much. I'm going to miss you. He ain't going nowhere. All right. Anyway, so Pete, no, no, that was <laughs> bye bye. That, that was the, that was the next part of the thing. He was gonna he yeah. was gonna kick me off the show. Grass. Yes, and, and, and for that, uh, thanks for being here. You are the, the weakest out. link. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, you you done uh, some great. I'm not crying. I'm just you're crying. Um, I'm not crying. You're I'm, crying. I'm really not. Crying. I'm not drinking. Um, no, you, you you you've you helped along the way. You've been uh, a solid part of the show. Obviously, you're. One half, fifty percent of this show. Grass, stop talking. Um, and that. you've done some some wonderful content, and I appreciate everything you've done. Thanks very much. I couldn't do this without you. I'm not going to make a speech. So good, great. Pete, Grass, I, um, listen, oh, you have talk, been a pain in my ass Pete. since the first day you've walked in here. Yeah. Um, I appreciate you, but you got to be less of a pain in my ass. Love really? you, buddy. <laughs> really? Hey, you Grass. Are, thanks you, for showing I'm up not, today. I'm not crying. You're crying. Uh, listen. First of all, Pete. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something right now. Mm-hmm. All kidding aside, you two together have, have made me learn about beer, and I think you guys are great together. I love watching you guys. I l- enjoyed before when Mike went out, you and Kevin just talking about the Montreal beer and everything else. You know a lot. and, and Always got to be a dig. Like no. It's not even like, <laughs> no, like Pete, it's a compliment, but let me give Mike a dig. No, so, I'm Mike, not. when you were eliminated from the equation, <laughs> everything started happening and clicking. No, and, I'm not uh, saying no, that. I and I just see. enjoyed watching Kevin See how it works speak. back and forth. And you're, you're brilliant. You know I know you're brilliant. I think you're brilliant at what you do, Michael. I hope, we, I hope year three brings you guys nothing more than health, wealth, and happiness. I don't get it, not going to have a chance to say this for 2020. But for me, Pete, for my family to yours, good luck with the baby. May Thank God you, bless you, uh, and may health, wealth, and happiness. Maybe we'll go hang out at, at maybe Bel- twenty twenty will be better. Maybe we'll go to Belgium. Jesus Christ, maybe we'll go to be. flying Can't Belgium. Be any worse. We'll go to flying Belgium on on a, on, a, on a Friday night, and we'll hang out with Kevin. We'll drink excessively, and we'll get hit by a, a lift car. Or something <laughs> like Jesus that. Christ, oh, man! Here's the hoping. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> One can only that. pray to, to as many gods as possible. Uh, listen, I want to run through a, a quick thank you to all the breweries we had on this year in 2019. Uh, oh, I can't Jesus. name them all. It's it's there's tw- too many people, too many f- friends. Um, I could go back through it, but I I decided not to because it's just so many to name. Well, I don't want to leave anybody Steve, out. Steve's definitely been on. No, no, no. Why I'm don't not you give me? Why don't you give me like a little? You sit there for five minutes and just describe all the beers, and I'll put it on limo oh talk God. on Thursday. I'm not gonna do like that. It's way too long. Uh, it, it, Ghost. I'm, no, no. I'm, I'm not. Don't, oh, I was just gonna shout out. Don't do Dub it. Go. <laughs> Do Second Tog. No, no they, not, they were no, on the not, show in 2018. Uh, 1940s Brewing Company. Of course, Charlie's Nine, been yes, on a million Charlie times. Charlie from 1940s. He even stopped Square in. Squarehead. One. Squarehead was in. Hop Wins. 28, yes. 20. Hop. Yeah, they started the year. Did they start? They were the first I show of the year? so. Wow. Hop Scotch. Hop well, well, let's think about it. Wait, wait. First of all, Hop Wins was in here when the, the room was red. Ugh. I love the room. Po' right. Boy. I, know, I, I think did, the, I I love Six the room. Six Harbors. I can't stand Yes, Po' Boy. Bobby and Linda? I don't know. Wife? I only know Bobby. I don't I, know who else. 14 what, Star? 14 Star calling in that day and, and having a great time. Rebel Kettle for calling star. in. All our call-ins have been unbelievable. We've had people from all over the country, all of our peop- um, our listeners. Stan Lee died. Let's not forget that. Oh, yeah. Well, Harborhead. Who passed? Who passed? Hmm? Stan Lee a long time ago. 
I'm just going back through our photos. Yeah. 27A. We were live at the soft opening for 27A uh, the night before their soft WA opening. WA Meadworks. Fifth Hammer. And Joe from WA Meadworks. Fifth, Fifth Hammer. Hammer. That show Absolutely. over the summer was awesome. Uh, by the way, Matt, I don't think is with Fifth Hammer anymore. But uh, having uh, the opportunity to go into Brooklyn and uh, broadcast live from the brewery was uh, an amazing That was awesome, man. It was hot in there. That was, was like, oh my God. That was, that was the hottest day. Kevin, 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 it was 100 we were, degrees on a Saturday. It was 100 degrees Saturday. outside, Kevin, with no That's air conditioning. That's the day we decided to broadcast live from, from a brewery no with air no air conditioning. No air conditioning. <laughs> nope. Uh, so that was a fun Good one. Good day to Black and tan. On. North Fork. <laughs> Black and Tan came North through, Fork. of course. Uh, Jay and um, uh, Kern. Kern, thank you. Brew Babe. Yes, she she stopped by. Of course, Mark from Hopscotch. Uh, of course, James from um, RBQ, and we had a live show over in Long Beach. Barrage. Uh, barrage. No, barrier. Bra- barrier. 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 Bobby from Barrier, I'm and uh, of course Ricky from uh, Great South Bay. Yes, Great South Bay. We just had on recently. Uh, I didn't want to name all these people, but apparently well, we're going to have to. Why not? Why not? Ian and uh, Mike or Jeff. What was his name from uh, North Fork? Pete. Pete, thank you. Yeah, it was the AC it was Beer Pete. Fest you went to, Sig Lusher. Oh my All god! From fucking Kentucky. Did you hear about this one? No. So no. we uh, get yeah, qu- quickly tell the story. story. So we we get a DM Six Harbors from this brewery we've never yes. heard of. Mark from Six Harbors said, "Hey, uh, we'd really love to come to our podcast. Our brewer loves podcasts. Awesome." So immediately, simultaneously, Mike and I both look on there and we're like, "Oh." I don't know if you know this, but you're in Kentucky and we're in New York. <laughs> so <laughs> They're in Kentucky. So we say, hey, thanks for the interest. Uh, we actually do the, do the show from a studio. We're located in Long Island. We see you're in Kentucky, uh, but we'd love to have you call in. Uh, it turns one. out that one of the owners of the brewery happens to have a place in Long Island City. Wow. And says, Ashley, I'm going to be up there in a couple <laughs> weeks. And... Uh, we happen to have a show that night. So Pax's is uh, carry-on suitcase full of a really delicious fucking pills in there. Pills, nice. yeah. They're, they're, they're and very strong. He was the nicest guy in the world. He was the nicest guy in the world. We, yeah, he was great. we had a great time. Uh, yeah, and that, that beer was fucking delicious. Um, yeah. Completely off-style pills in there, hmm. but uh, very malty. Uh, delicious. I don't know. Uh, everything. I, everything I, that I would enjoy was, in a pilsner. It was very, very good. I hope they get distribution up here. Yeah. Yeah. Beauty. And that's why he was up here. He was up here for reasons. some like regional distribution. Okay. okay. Yeah. And so it, it just so happened it, it lined up with our show and he came all the way out here from Levittown and hung out with us for hours. Uh, we had um, Paul, from, uh, Paul from Ghost in that day. Yeah. Uh, oh, and two big jerks and two big jerks. So it was a, that was it, a it was a party. That so was that a good show. We got to try I don't, I don't know jerky, whatever beers we brought in. About ten uh, jerky, fourteen, fourteen yeah. styles of jerky oh, yeah. from uh, two big jerks. Also, and, we uh, want to thank uh, Nap Time for coming down from Upstate, who made from, the trek from Upstate to come down here for a show, and then stayed on Long Island that night after the show and hung out and got hammered, and we got hammered. F and Beauty, um, F and Beauty, F and Beauty nice. was on this year, and then you had the other place, right? That what was the other restaurant that? Uh, well, Horace and Sylvia's. It was Horace Ricky, Ricky from Ricky. the Public House yeah, yeah, in yeah, yeah. Babylon. Yeah, absolutely. All right. I mean, this is uh, so many people we want to thank uh, again contributing to the show and the content for the over the past year. Shirts on and now top. even you know looking at well, that's our sponsor, but right, uh, and of course we say Chris from Dubco. You know, g- great friend of the show. Now uh, we have some major things planned uh, for the upcoming year. There's things that we want to do with the Long Island Beer and Malt Enthusiasts LIBME. Yes. Um, we already have some stuff booked. Uh, for upcoming breweries, uh, can't wait. You know, Garvey's is is on board and, and things like that that uh, we haven't got to. Our goal here is to finally close out Long Island, Brooklyn, and Queens. It's going to take a few years, but yeah. that's fine. It gives us some content to work towards and a goal to work towards. And uh, we also want to still uh, at the same time promote that small business. So to continue have the the hopscotches of the world come in and talk about their business. To uh, continue have the uh, I want to get Mike and Jess from. Some guys. Yeah, and get them in and hang out. Same concept. Uh, you know, we've had FM Beauty on and craft beer bars forward, uh, places like The Villager in, in Babylon. We want to promote that, that business because we think, both Pete and I think, that we have one of the best scenes in the country in such a small, densely populated area that every town is soon going to have a brewery of its own. It's going to be like the 1800s, 1900s, like it was like in Linnehurst. Like and we have a bank day. bus, too. And we have a bang bus that can take you from Thank goodness. one yes. of these small businesses out and tour around Long Island 
and bring you back safely and sound, right? Yeah, just ask the Library Cafe in Farmingdale. Exactly. Farmdale, They've done, been doing <laughs> it for years. <laughs> cheap, cheap plug. Um, Blessings restaurants. <laughs> before we go, Mark, give us the big plug. Do you have a, do you have a, 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 an idea of an opening date? Do you guys have a target month? Or what, Are you going to be at any festivals? I'm not sure. Yeah, or, or yeah what's, that's a what's good the question. A um, few steps here. Because you got to get this out here. People yeah, are gonna, yeah. people are gonna love people this. Gonna love it. Yeah. No. Uh, festival wise, I mean, I think the next one typically we might be at, unless I'm missing something, would be Hops and Props. Yeah. Which is a lot of them are my favorites. That's Hops a good and one. Hops is really. Yeah. Really, I just love being in the museum. Yeah. It's kind of cool, right? Being surrounded by old my kid World had, War a, had a blast there. She had a Girl Scout event there, and it's so, just yeah, it's, yeah. It's, my it's, daughter used to do that too. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool place yeah. to bring the kids. Yeah. Yeah, and we typically we actually but talked to them the last beer. year. Where they, they have a balloon there, so we got spot right by the balloon. Ah, there you go. So uh, I would expect it will be there, you know, unless something else comes up. That's at the uh, February, by the way, right? Long Island Cradle of Aviation Museum. Cradle of Aviation yep. Museum. February yep. is about that time. Typically right? February, yeah. early February. Yeah. Uh, we we'll come hang out of your place. Tasty room open. Well, yeah, I mean, oh, I want to come it's out. So painful to actually place. say because I. I I've I've been saying for some time like mm, like soon uh, soon next quarter next quarter next quarter. We are at the point, I'm kind of hoping, first quarter of next year. Nice. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. And I know the Long Beach guys are the same. It's just, yeah. I, I, there's a lot of detail behind it, but... Uh, <clears throat> Kind of would seem it would seem that that's that's is, that's. Can a I ask a question, Kevin? If not, Kevin, the second quarter. Can yeah. I ask yeah. a question? Yeah. Is it more the town of Hempstead, the town of the? Uh, it uh, is. It is right. They're All right. of the town of Hempstead. <laughs> okay, it's just uh, it's slow, right? Uh, yeah, slow. Slow's a word. Yeah, yeah. That's a well, word. they they're moving at snail's pace to squeeze as much money out as what it ends up coming. Yeah, I mean, but they're putting I mean, people out of business that want to get themselves started, and it's not. Yeah, cool. that's exactly right. It's 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 just. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I'm don't, not involved. Don't I'm not involved, so I don't know the details. So sometimes it's worse. Um, and you know, my wife sent me something to text about the town of Hempstead. There's investigation of. Of, all the building uh, permits. And, yeah. graft, all the building uh, Oh, you're kidding. I, no I, I, I'm way. I'm not kidding. And I, I'm I am actually shocked. a little bit surprised. I actually, I, I actually was surprised because I just, I don't know. But uh, be it as it may, uh, that is the holdup. That is absolutely holdup. You know, and then they threw another uh, a requirement. I, I have our, two friends. Face. I have two friends there. I can make a phone call. Thanks. Yeah, Ooh, make good. that phone call. Make, well, that, make, it, make that now, phone call. Now. <laughs> okay. If you, yeah, voice you can, if you give make Mike your number, I will, make, I, will make I, two number. Yeah. I will make two <laughs> phone calls for you tomorrow. And one of them works in permits and all that stuff, so I know Ooh, that. You got it. Come on. There you go. I'm man. being that serious. Phone call. No, I'm he, being serious. He doesn't, he doesn't lie. If I know my father, yeah. he doesn't lie. Well, you just told me to calm down and not be as le- and be less I was of a, just, of a I was nudge. quoting Avengers Endgame. It's I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Sorry. Greg DeFilippo wants to know if we need to find an alcohol rehab to sponsor the show. No. Okay. No, we're good. We're good to go. And also, Greg says, if you love Pete so much, yeah. are you going to reimburse him the $150 for the Christmas tree <laughs> to show you how much you love him and appreciate it? Merry him. Christmas, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your 150 The answer is no, I'm not giving Pete 150 uh, bucks for his asshole <laughs> ways. He could have just taken the kids right there and then when they went to Home Depot. could have went to Harrow's and got a fucking Well, at that Christmas point, you didn't tree. know what the price was, right? So we got to say that. Uh, all right, so uh, Kevin, give us the uh, the huge plug. Where can people find uh, where, and follow you? Where can you? get the beer on the on the shelf right now? On the shelf, we're uh, out and about. We're, we're listen. This was just canned on Friday. Okay, fantastic. Uh, by the way, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, I, I'm from Belmore, so we're definitely in Belmore Beverage, All Island. Uh, some guys, but and basically in distributors. I don't want to say everywhere, but we are getting out there. We've been. You know, mostly on the South Shore, Nassau, and Suffolk. Yeah. It just happens to be that way. Yeah. Um, but we're going to be expanding, hopefully getting into... That's where you have the relationships, I would Exactly. Yeah. Flying yeah. Belgian we'll Brewery, everywhere. an American craft brewery located in Oceanside, Long Island. Uh, www.flyingbelgian.com. Perfect. And if you're looking for yes, something so- different... Exactly. I would say that's if uh, it's not even you want if you want to see what's what's out there other than a hazy New England right. IPA. I was gonna say it's it's, <laughs> it's only <laughs> different if you compare it to an IPA. Exactly. Other than which, that, which is a large part a of the market. Good, right? Absolutely, yeah. and there is a small part of the market that says they don't like it, and they really like this. You know, I, I, again, uh, we we I think we talked about this during the break. I, I think that you know uh, Long Beach, which you know they brew an IPA, but they also brew a lot of a lot of those German styles. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's I, I think it's a it, that's a, a, a great fit. pairing. It's, it's a good, good fit. fit. Yeah, 
and uh, having having guys in one building. That's and they're good be, guys. Yeah, good brewers and awesome good guys. People. Same time. Yeah. Same thing with you. Kind of I could, yeah. Like Thanks I said, so I could see how you guys get along very yeah. well. Yeah. And all these uh, brewers that we met uh, over the last two years have been phenomenal people. That's one of the things I think mostly we've learned yeah, is how no, cool fun every everyone. fucking everybody yeah. is. Yeah. Even me. And, well, yeah. <laughs> even you. Yeah, even, even you, you at times. <laughs> <laughs> Despite you. Merry, yeah, every once <laughs> Merry Christmas, motherfucker. Every once in a while you throw out the bat signal, I come through. That's true. I do appreciate it. I'm gonna need you in February. Yeah, you better. So you better start be doing nice some work. You better start working out a little bit. What do you mean? I gotta go to a couple of places. No, you gotta start drinking a lot more. All right, I'll go to a couple of places. <laughs> yeah, a couple of places. Just I'll you say. tell me who I'm in February. I'll go investigate. All right, there you go. All right. Yeah, get some background information. We'll you gotta bring have flying Belgian back in February. I'll uh, hang out. I'll hang no, out I, we night. we definitely could if he's willing to come back. But we have other people lined up. So all right, all right. I have stuff booked already. All right, maybe he's my. And new I would love maybe, to have him come. Maybe he's new. My new child. Listen, we've had other people after being guests come back down and be like. You know, they have to have Charlie back in. Yeah, same thing. Like Charlie was phenomenal, and he comes in with anybody, and uh, immediately it's like a party again. Charlie's a good guy. 1940s Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Guy. oh great guy. Oh, he's my yeah. father. It's his father. Yeah, he, uh, he, literally. I'm a, I'm a grass wants to get adopted by yeah. Charlie. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, <laughs> don't blame you. <laughs> you don't even understand. <laughs> I want to suckle got a up brewery. next to him. I just want to sit and put my my. Nah, it's a good guy. I want to put you my thumb on my mouth and rock next to him. Wicked shouter too. Yeah, is yeah. Actually, I don't think I've had that, but I know people love it. I've heard oh, people yeah. say, "Oh, we can shout and uh, uh, beers all across the board." No, Kevin, you have a great radio voice. You know that he does. You should come on the limo talk with Graz <laughs> on Thursday <laughs> nights. Right, he's gonna go there. It's I'm, gonna cut, rate, you, I'm gonna cut you off. You still it's shamelessly high, plugging I, your own I'm show. Not, well, come on, please. It's right, a highly rated. On. It's a highly rated podcast on GovsRadio.com. It is. It's actually doing very, very well. Gets no appreciation, but it's popular. You also have a much more premier time slot. Yes. But it, the reason why we have this time slot is because brewers like Kevin here uh, aren't available on those Thursdays because they're either brewing or they're they're Running manning the tasting room or managing room. <laughs> managing other things. Jeff Bosey says he wants to come on our Boston trip. Uh, in Bosey's in too. Jesus Christ! So it's now you be got crazy. me, you. We got Pete. We got Mike. We got Graz. We got Greg DiFilippo. We got Mike from. Do Boston. any of these people have jobs or wives Jeff or Bosey. children? <laughs> we got Jeff Bosey and Nikki Jesus. Nux. We got seven that want to wow. go on a trip. Well, we're gonna have one big uh, suite like uh, in. Uh, I'm gonna walk around my ball sack. There you go. Out the whole please time. do. Please do. I'm gonna hang. I'm gonna hang around with a fucking hacky sack on my balls. All right, listen, we want to thank right. everyone for calling in tonight. <laughs> tonight, Dennis Murphy leading off the show. Of course, Graz calling in and, and speaking with him. I want to thank Nikki Nux, uh, Joe from uh, Brainy Burrow Brewing uh, down in New Jersey. Mark and, from Hopscotch. And, of course, Mark from Hopscotch. And uh, to wrap Hopscotch up the show, we had... In? Oh yeah, he, he see. I don't even know that because I had my client in the call. Ah, nice yeah, about Mark me. called it. Yeah, of course he did. He definitely- and then of course I want to thank uh, Mike Cassiopo up from uh, New England and uh, giving us the lowdown on the showdown of what's going on up Love there. Another uh, great correspondent. We've when we first started the show, we relied on our correspondents throughout the country to kind of report back mm. to us on what was going on in their area. And throughout the years, these guys have been the ones that are constantly calling in. Uh, some of the other ones have fallen off and kind of lost track or whatever it is. But, you know, we really uh, appreciate those guys for, you know, hitting the streets, drinking the beers, and reporting back to us on Who's what they Who's the heavy set guy that doesn't like me or bruised a beer? What's that guy's name? Greg. Or well, what's that, right? Oh, Greg from LIBME. Oh, yeah. fuck himself. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, I, I'm going to be honest. They're probably going to be the first show of the new year. They're going to kick right. off show number 50. And you better get your fucking panties off because I'm coming in uh, fucking guns a blazing. He knows. He knows. He listens to every show. Yeah, He's I know he best. does. Greg, I love you. Uh, this, <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I knew he was going to get that. All right, this is the world of Mikey Pete. Goes to com. We want to thank everybody for a great season. Again, thank yeah, you, yeah, Kevin. Thanks for coming down. It was really, thank you so much. It was a really real enjoyed, pleasure. Yeah, Fantastic really time talking, we've had. And uh, again, thank everybody for the last year for everything they've done. Grass, thank you. Merry Nick, Christmas. Mike, uh, Tom, Santiago, who didn't, I guess, make the phone call today. Fuck him. Yeah, well, though, he's going to be joining us in a, in a few weeks for AC Beer Fest. And, of course, Pete, thank you very much. Don't forget to have your pet spayed or neutered. That's right. This is the word with Mike and Pete, GovsRadio.com. We out. Well, that's two hours of your life that you'll never get back. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. Please hang up and try again. Words on Govs Radio. I hope you're drunk enough.